All right, we're live. The phone is shaky. I hope that we have enough service here, but um, Sam. Yeah. What's your thoughts and feelings on what we actually um, have going on so, here? So this is a wild situation. So we were actually on, um, doing sonar on a pond and we got a tip that on a police scanner, they found a pink car. So we're thinking that us simply being this small town, either flushed out some, either flushed them out or it refreshed the information so that somebody actually noticed the pink car. So um, anyway, yeah, so here we are. Uh, this is about as close as we can get. Um, you know, it's, it's a, they have it all yellow taped. Uh, there's a lot of cops here right now. They wouldn't just have these this many cops here for nothing. Cannot confirm nor deny. I can, yeah, I guess not. We cannot confirm or deny it. Yep, yep. <laughs> but uh, but either, either way, um, that's wild. Yeah. So uh, where, where we're at, we're actually on Natalie Jones' uh, investigation right now is where we're at. We're on day two, and with that, um, we've been searching the area today. We've been on you know, different rivers, different ponds. Everybody knows we're in town because we, you know, everybody we run into, like we saw you on Facebook, we yeah. saw you on, on YouTube. There's a whole lot of nothing going on out here. Yes, and so because of that, right now, Sam's theory, again, Sam, just kind of bring him up to speed. I'm shaking right now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I can like I'll, I'll take over this one yeah 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 so get this truck pass real quick um so we were doing sonar on a pond uh just checking you know for bodies or cars and at our like fourth or fifth location today yeah, fourth or fifth location. i'm sorry and he, they can't hear you because you're behind the mic okay so. cool cool yeah so we we're doing sonar on a pond um just you know checking our fifth either fourth or fifth location while we were there something came over the police scanner that they found a pink car um and so my thought is either we flushed them out because we're here and it's a small town there's nothing going on here everybody knows we're here or perhaps us being here refresh the information in people's minds to where they actually noticed a pink pink car anyway right now we have one two three four five six seven eight um police vehicles it looks like maybe more uh they have it yellow taped the crime scene that i mean it's a lot of cops a lot of action so either way it's just it just this is this is wild yeah it's wild uh i'm going to i'm shaking right now so but uh, i'm going to head up here to the driveway here uh i'm gonna go see if these people are home that we can gain access to and just move the rv up from there to here so that way we can stand on top of it and get some uh, a better view of what's going on here and i'm going to turn you over right now uh actually sam yeah i got give, it. give dan uh, that right. camera and then just, just keep it yeah. going. Explain what's going on. I'm going to go up here <laughs> all right guys so here's the scoop to everyone that's tuning in earlier today we were running sonar on a pond actually it was our fourth or fifth location and while running sonar uh, we had a, a fan or a viewer or somebody local that was listening to a police scanner and they found a pink car natalie's car was pink it was hot pink uh, they found a pink car so we're thinking that us being here either flushed them out they're like oh crap they're here i gotta get rid of the car or perhaps it refreshed the information in people's minds to the point where they noticed a pink car and was like, whoa, there's a pink car. Anyway, right now, this um, section up there is shut down. We have over eight different Dude, squad cars. Let's, um, let's do this real quick. Yeah, let's, Jared's let's, back. Let's throw um, Dan, I'm gonna move the RV up here. Uh -huh. As soon as I move the RV up, let's throw Dan in the vehicle with um, Sherry. Yeah. And just have them roll through. Yeah. You can grab some shots real quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll keep the live going. What's up guys thanks again for all your support thank you for your help i'm gonna leave long lens cam right yeah yeah here, yeah leave Sam. a long lens right there it's just like this one Press yeah that. yeah yeah sounds good bro all right guys so here's the scoop earlier today we were running sonar in one of the ponds it was our fourth or fifth location and during that time either a fan or a viewer or somebody they were listening to the police scanner they heard that the police have found or somebody had found a pink car and 
now you can see what's going on behind me. Um, they have shut down that particular area. There's over eight different uh, squad cars there. No, it's not in the water as far as we know. Um, anyway, so we're thinking that us being here either flushed them out because they're trying to get rid of evidence or perhaps it refreshed the story in people's minds so that they actually noticed the pink car. They were cruising and said, oh my gosh, there's a pink car. Um, either way, we don't have information on that one way or another, um, but we do have a what we believe is the pink car based off of the police scanner right behind us. And so we're gonna hang out and see what happens. And again, I greatly appreciate you guys. We wouldn't be here without your guys' support. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around. Jared just brought the RV up. They're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna stand on top of the RV. Let's see if we can get a better view. See if we can get something better for you guys to see. So we're we'll going to flip this around now. There we go. Yeah. So again, uh, we were out here researching the Natalie Jones case. We were running sonar on a pond, and while doing that, we had information that that came through a police scanner that a pink car was found. So our belief is either us being here flushed them out because this is a very small town. There's a whole lot of nothing going on here and everybody knew that we were here. Um, news gets around fast, so maybe they caught wind and they're like, oh no, we gotta get rid of this car. Or per perhaps us being here refreshed the information in people's minds to the point where they're looking for a pink car. They're cruising down the road, said, oh look, there's a pink car. Anyway, but right now, this part of the road, uh, we have police blocking off that driveway. There's yellow tape. There's clearly some excitement going on up there. Uh, right now, Jared, he's getting the RV set up for better better viewing, and we're gonna hang out and see what we get. I see uh, the officer that we actually spoke to earlier today. He actually gave us a police escort when we were going to see the lieutenant up there. Um, so we're, e either way, it's really exciting just to be a part of this. Um, I just, I just, I just can't believe what we heard as we were out there sonaring the pond. That just come. Well, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm at a loss for words. I am absolutely at a loss for words right now. I just, I just. All right, I'm gonna pass this. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this back. Yeah, we're not flying drone. We're not gonna fly the drone right now. We still have to respect the privacy. There's laws. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pass the, the to Jared. We also have. Here we go. Will you grab some uh, two chairs out of there for us as yeah. well? Let's bring those up. Where, where do you put the chairs these days? Uh, in the side, in that side compartment. Yep. So, so, the, so <laughs> Dan just got in trouble. We sent Dan down there, so we actually have some side footage. We gotta be quiet on this one. So Dan is actually in that vehicle with Sherry. And so they just grabbed some outside side footage for you guys right there. And so they, they're still letting some cars through, but he made sure that they are not gawking. Bring them up the uh, back, or here, here, I'll take that. So, anyway, uh, thank you to uh, you viewers as well. Um, donations really help us, and with the donations, we actually ended up buying a Wi-Fi booster, so we have a Wii Boost now, and uh, we're up on top of the RV. This is as close as we can get, and uh, we're gonna stay on as long as we need to. I've got a battery pack, so we're not going dead. So battery pack, boost, Wi-Fi booster, still shaking. That's why I got the chairs coming up. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know, know what to say right now. So to bring you guys up to speed, we've been in town for the last couple of days working on the Natalie Jones case. Natalie Jones, uh, 27 years old, went missing July 4th. Of, Are there any soft spots I can uh, know about? No soft spots. Just, just don't go past this one right here. Right. So. Uh, she went missing July 4th, 2020, and um, has not been seen. Her cell phone was pinging this area, yeah. and that's why we've been yeah. up here in the Ephesus area, because her cell phone has been pinging between 2.30 in the morning and 5 o'clock in the morning. And that's why we've had such a focus up here. We've been over on Mikosh Mill. There was a lot of rumors over there with a uh, possible chest freezer. And, um, oh man, I'm still, we're going to need water and everything too. This is... Good just bro. insane, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> my, my heart is just racing right now. Um, somebody said, cannot use the drone due to laws. Yes, on crime scenes. Yes, we are 100% aware of that, Jeffrey. That's why we're not flying the drone on this one. We did send Dan up there. Dan ended up getting a little bit of footage where's, uh, where's as Dan? they drove past. Where, where there, oh, he's back now. Oh, we sent Dan up that, that way? Yeah, they, they made their way up. They made their way back. So. Oh, sounds great. Jared, uh, I'm going to blow up. 
Did you see a pink car? Okay, so you didn't see any car. And there's, I don't, there's like I a don't think it's her Ford. Okay. Because we're looking for a 2002 Dodge Pink Cavalier. Yep. Did you see the car? Yes, I saw the car. You and saw? The back of it looks like from a 95 to a 2005 Grand Dam or Grand Prix. Well, there can be other cars down there too. It could be the witness that pulled in there as well, so. Okay, we'll we'll work on it over here. Well, we get either way. It's either way we're hanging out. Yeah. There's police activity. I mean, there's, like that's a lot of cops. But, yeah, they're not. That's, that's a lot of cops. There's nothing. there's and nothing. No other missing persons has taken place in this uh in this, town. in this county that we know of. Uh, what happened to her? So we don't we don't know. The, go talk to the cop. They will not currently talk to us. So we are up on the RV right now, parked as close as we could be. At a driveway, we gave them uh, still access, so hopefully whoever comes down the driveway, they're not going to be uh, upset with us on this one. So, to bring everybody up to speed, I need a breath. I need some water. Need breath, need some water. Yes, need some breath. Can you uh, throw me some uh, bottled water that you have down there, Sherry? And then, uh, where did Dan go? Dan? What he's doing is uh, doing the thing thing. Okay. You want me to talk for a minute? Yeah, let's, let's get the... Uh, our other camera let's bring that up as well and then let me get hydrated and i'm going to bring everybody up to speed as to what's going on thank you very much sherry You're um i believe that we have uh this is this is the uh, detective from this morning so we're going to see what he has to say i'm going to say that i don't know if he's, I don't think he's pro to us, i'm I think. Prob probably not i probably don't think that he's thrilled that we're here so I think that if, as long as we're on a private driveway, we're out of the road, we're not blocking traffic, we do fall under media. All right, he's gonna ask if we have permission. Uh, anyway, I'll keep you guys updated as to what's going on. The detective on the right um, is the, the one in the black. We spoke to him this morning. He could not give us any information this morning as to anything that is not in the press. We're currently looking for Natalie Jones. He was, he was respectful. He very very nice guy. Yeah, very nice yes. guy, respectful. He, no complaints. Yeah, no complaints at all here's from the, him. Here's the picture that here's the picture that Dan got. So what do we have there? Yeah, so that's that's just the vehicles that showed up. Yeah, so, so you can't really see. Anything yeah, so there. so Sherry, what you saw there, that's just the vehicles that were first off scene reporting. So this is what um, Dan actually captured. So there's the there's the silver vehicle that had showed up that called it in, and then the other one is just uh, somebody else. I didn't mean to go off offline. That was my fault. I hit some wrong buttons. So Natalie Jones, day two. Here we are, up in we're north of Franklin. So we're our current location is if you look on Roosterville, go to Roosterville, Georgia. In fact, can you grab your uh, little tripod for me as well? I think that might be easier for me yeah. to hold this as well. Yeah, so we're in uh, Roosterville, Georgia. We are east of, say it, um, Ephesus. Ephesus. We are north of Franklin. So that's our current location in where we're at. Uh, oh, we might have a detective coming over. Yeah. Sir, how are you? Good, how about you? You want me down? Conversation on the ground? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll come on down. So we got we got sheriff there. Oh, 100 percent. We fall under the media clause. Well, sir, I'm just trying to. The family yeah. doesn't know. We would appreciate being able to notify the family before you put anything on social media. Nothing's going out. We've not been told what is actually going on. So we're just here documenting a police activity right now. Okay. Just please respect the family. 100%. Okay. okay. That's yeah, all yeah. we, that's all we yeah. want. Though. Yeah, we are not saying that somebody has been found that we're looking for. We're just saying we're in town looking for Natalie Jones. We have zero confirmation at this time whether a pink car has been found and if there happens to be somebody inside of it. Nothing. We do not make any speculation on that, and that's where we're at. Anyway, I'm Jared. Jared Ross. Andy. Ross. Uh, well. So... All right. Thank you, sir. It, it was respectful. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, no, no hate. Oh, shaking. 
I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that her mom is on here. Um, I haven't even come on here yet. Uh, this, this is me, like, shaking, like, being a part of all of this. Um, same thing as with Nick. With Nick, we were not able to say, hey, we have a definitive answer that this is Nick. Same thing with this. Right now, we do not have a definitive answer that we have a pink car. We do not have a definitive answer that we have Natalie. So we are not making those claims at all. All we're saying is right now, we are south of Roosterville on Roosterville Road. We are east of Ephesus. Ephesus. We are north of Franklin, all in Georgia is where we're at right now. We've been in town looking for Natalie. You guys saw the live stream yesterday. You guys have those updates as to the locations that we were searching. Um, the locations that we were searching today, we were going to do an update at 9.30 p.m. Pacific time. We were over searching another pond that was near a cell phone tower that had pinged in this area. We were doing a search over there uh, on property. After that one, we were clearing it. There was no vehicle. We were getting ready to go over to the creek. I said creek. 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 Either way. As well as another pond was over there. Um, somebody said, take a deep breath. Yeah, you're shaking. During, you're, you're, you're shaking. During the during while you were in the water at the pond. Yes. We got a phone call from because we are in a small town. And everybody, everybody knows we're here. There's nothing going on in this town. We're the only show right now. Yes. So we rolled into a gas station yesterday, and they're like, "You ain't from around here, are you?" And that's kind of how yeah, people qu people quickly learned who Adventures with Purpose is. Um, so on that note, we ended up. Um, Got a, several people stopped by last night after we'd actually gone to bed. Knock, knock, knock on the door. We were standing outside the fire station, and one of them got a hold of me while you were in the pond and said, I have a friend who just was listening in the scanner. What came across dispatch? Get over on Roosterville Road because there's a witness that says that there is a potentially a pink car that is over there. We have no other information. We have no confirmation on a pink car. We have a whole bunch of cops. A whole bunch of cops. A whole bunch of cops. Like, this is in this small community where nothing happens. You would not have that many unless there's something big going on. Yeah. So yeah. that's where we're currently at. I believe that they're going to be blocking off the road, maybe. Not quite sure what he's got going on. Well, well either either way, they're going to have to tow it out. So either he's going to go that way or they're going to go the other way. Yeah. So we'll see what. Yeah, unless he's. Yeah, and, and these guys are just doing their jobs. You yeah. know, they're, we haven't had any, any bad interactions. Yeah. They have guidelines and they have regulations. I, I mean, so. it's not like we're breaking the news to them, particularly, you know, to the family or anything. We, we are not saying, I'm not calling mom right now. No. Mom may be on. Okay, Elaine may be on. And with Elaine being on, she may see this. I don't, we don't have any confirmation as to this being Natalie or not. Yeah. Okay. Ready to go, want to go back up? Yeah, let's head, head, let's head back up. Let's All go right. get some water. Yeah, let's take long lens. Where's the long lens at? Long lens. Okay, so let's take that up. We'll grab some shots up there. In fact, grab the tripod for the long lens as well. And we'll, we'll just set that up as long lens. Um, I also spilled my water. I've still not yet even had a drink of water, so I need to breathe on this one. Yeah, yeah. if Jared doesn't breathe, uh, I'm going to hijack the light. Yep. 100 percent uh i just saw a comment uh from uh said they could have found anyone yes you are correct might not be other missing persons reported but that doesn't mean it couldn't be someone else you are correct the only information we have right now is this came across publicly on police scanner that means everybody has this information right ryan yeah, i mean most most counties and stuff don't have encrypted uh Right here. Encrypted radio signals. Yeah. And I used to be a first responder, so. Yep, so so with that, we were notified that this might be the, uh, that we might have something here. Uh, so we're gonna head back up. All right, I apologize. I, I, I was climbing the ladder and I accidentally turned you guys off. So I apologize for, for that. So right now they seem to be I'm not quite understanding the shuffle of vehicles right now. Like we moved this one up, we moved one or two out, but we moved a few of them up. 
like, it's like they're establishing um, a perimeter. A perimeter, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're just establishing a perimeter right now. Okay, so I need another. I spilled my water. Can I get one more water? And as soon as I get a water, everybody, I'm going to bring everybody up to speed as to where we're at, what we're doing again. The rundown of all this. I don't know if I'm ever going to catch my breath. No, you're not going to catch your breath. Yeah. Yeah, water. Thank you. Appreciate it. And you gave me that other one too. So let me set that up as well. So bear with me as we get everything set up here. Everybody, thank you very much. Um, without you guys being here supporting everything that we're doing, we would have never been here for you tonight in this town. And we don't, we have zero confirmation as to, it looks like, are they shutting down the road? I don't know. It looks like they're getting ready to shut down the road. Okay, we're gonna take that off of my, there off my go. hands. There you go, a little more sturdy now. Okay, what county are we in? We're in Heard County, Georgia. Uh, we're on the roof of the RV. Uh, everybody that's here, please hit the like button. Please uh, share this for what's going on. They're pulling cars out of here. Are they just trying to fool us right now? Or what's going on? I don't know, but either, either, way, either way, they know that we're, what's happening? How are you? Hey, hey how are you? Yeah, well, there's no confirmation, but there's a lot of activity over here right now. So, if you if you nice hear anything, you. let us know. So the sheriff the sheriff is here, um, just just doing his job. So if you saw that earlier, yeah, and actually, I, I kind of I respect it. You know, I respect the whole. Uh, yeah. You know, that's. You know, let's give the family some decency thing. Yes. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I think, he, I think they're doing good. Yes. They, um, okay. So let me back up from the beginning. And then once I back up from the beginning, then I'll start looking at the questions to start answering them because we're going to be set up here for a while, I, I do believe. Yeah. To bring everybody up to speed, Sam and I and Dan Dan the Adventure Man were on a 2020 cross-country road trip to help solve as many cold cases as we can. One of the stops after we were done with Nick over in uh, North Carolina, once we found him, we were running ahead by a couple of days. That gave us the opportunity that we came on, we did a live with everybody, asking you guys where you think we should go for our next location. With that one, you guys voted, don't do Carol Baskin's husband, ex-husband, go for grandma over in Glencoe, uh, Alabama, or Natalie Jones down in Ephesus area. Ephesus, there Ephesus you go. You said it right. uh, Georgia is where we're at. She actually went missing over in Jackson Gap, Alabama was the last place that she was kind of seen and then a bunch of cell phone pings after that is what we were up against. Um, so that anyway, so that brings us into a yesterday we did a big uh, recap. I'll give you a quick recap right now on yesterday's activity. We ended up getting a lot of leads that there might be a freezer that was involved, a deep freeze. Yeah. With that deep freeze, um, it would have separated her from the car. So a lot of rumors that it was separate from the car. The, oh, something just happened to that. Um, so some, uh, so you know, dead, dead catfish. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, met, we met with mom, incredible lady, uh, Elaine is her name. And you know, the, at the end of the day, she just wants her daughter home. We're, but we're dealing with rumors of, um, I'm still shaking a lot. I'm, I'm gonna turn around and talk to you. I feel like I do better when I talk to you, all of you. So I'm gonna come around this way. And Sam, if you wanna come around this way as well, I think it's more of a com com more, personal. more personal, more conversation at this point. Uh, if anything big happens in the background, we'll be sure to uh, focus in on that for you. There was actually a lot more cops here just uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes yeah. ago. Hey, cops are cops are definitely thinning out, but it seems like they have. Uh, but they're letting people through as well. Yeah, so they're letting people through. It seems like they're kind of strategically placed, though. Yeah, it, it's as though they have identified. So uh, I'm still lost for words. Like I am, I'm just my brain is not currently working this evening. This evening. This evening is not currently working. Right. Let so let let's just go from here. Sit, Sam and I in town, 
Looking for Natalie Jones. You wanna put that on the tripod? Or no? no, we're all right. Today, on day two, as we're searching for Natalie Jones, across the scanner comes, hey, we may have found a pink car. And I think, and I, and I can't confirm this, but Sam and I, we also feel as though the live stream that took place yesterday, the, um, the, the people knowing that we're in town, the word getting out again, it kind of- it, it created a, created a buzz around here in the small community so that we're, we're here. So we're not taking credit for any of this? No. We're no. just saying that we may have- We may have, may have stirred up some emotions. Somebody may have looked into this story and remembered the pink car. Or they just went out and searched their property because yeah, they yeah, heard. Just, 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 or maybe we flushed somebody out. Maybe somebody got spooked and like, oh man, I gotta get rid of it. Or maybe this might be a different pink car. Either way, there's not a whole lot of pink cars running around, especially in a small town like this. Yeah, and and right now, just for official um, disclaimer, mm -hmm. we don't have confirmation that this is a pink nope, car. Nope, what we not. what we only have is I got a phone call that said, Jared, I have a friend that was just listening to the scanner. They have a report of a pink car on Rooster Road, a Roosterville, 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 Roosterville Road. Road. Roosterville Road. You're only a couple of miles from it get over there, this might be Natalie. I'm not saying it's Natalie, I'm not saying there's even human life again. Okay, I'm sorry. Again. Sorry guys. Yeah, we had some uh, issues going on there. Hey, what's going on? Uh, over the dish, over the scanner, a potential pink car has been found. A pink, pink, car. pink car. You know what that means? Natalie Jones, no, potentially. Really, really went missing and she had a pink car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. You live right here? Okay. You ever notice a pink car over there? So so he's saying that he just lives uh, up the road. So I apologize that uh, my phone completely turned off. Uh, I hope it doesn't turn off again. I found that the uh, battery was not plugged in all the way and I got down to 2% and it turned off. So. Are you going to turn around with me or are you just going to sit like that? Um, no, I'll turn around again with you again. All right, it's just it's not pull it out though. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming back around. Um, so, so right now, this is what we're up against. Is we we're not? I mean, we're not up against it. We're just we're waiting to see. We are waiting to see. We are eagerly waiting, anxiously waiting, eagerly waiting, eagerly waiting. Either way, we are we are here. It, it, we it, at the see, end of the we day, we want to see what's going on. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm uh, not saying that we solved this one. I'm nope. just saying that we may have helped flush this one out or. Yep. Have re refresh the memory, refresh the memory of, of, of the new of the fact that there was a pink car. Maybe people saw that we were here. Why are they here? They reread the story. They said, "Oh yeah, she had a pink car cruising down the road." There's a pink car. You know, so and, and it's definitely off in the bushes because we sent Dan down there um, on a drive-by. Yeah, Dan. No luck. no luck. Well, yeah, and he was yeah he was not able to see into the bushes where. The police have it taped off right now. There's crime scene. They have it taped off. Right now, they had a. Looks like they're going in. They had a. Who's going in? That, that uh, police truck. Yep. Starting to work their way into the property. Yep. So we know that if a uh, corner truck shows up, or, or any or, or EMS or tow truck, tow truck. Well, well, they're not tow truck, but tow truck. Well, there'll be a tow truck yeah, showing yeah, either up. Either way, as well. there's a tow truck. I mean, oh, you're if there's for a body. if there's evidence there, they're going to tow the truck tow truck out oh, of there yeah, as well. Absolutely. But normally, what they'll do is they will remove. Uh, if there happens to be a body inside, they will uh, remove the body first as well and then put it on the tow truck. Um, so I hope that you guys, I hope that kind of brings you up to speed right now. Potential in Natalie, we were going to do a live stream this evening. This live stream went live like five or six hours ahead of time. Yes. Because of the police scanner and our new friends that we made here in town. It's a small town. Anything happens in a small town. First of all, they knew that we were here. We stayed outside of a, a fire station last night. Mm -hmm. People come over, they're knocking, you know, introducing themselves, um, really appreciative of them, their information, giving us tips as to where go, where to go look while we're down here with uh, Natalie Jones. Um, looking looking for Natalie Jones. Met with, uh, does she live here? Does she live here? You need to get through. Okay, we, we can back up. So we, we can back up a little bit to let her through. So let me, uh, let, so will you go apologize to her and just back up? Enough that she can get through. Her, 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 yeah. Tell the officer to move his car. He's gone. He left on another car. Yeah. Here, Dan, let me have okay. You yes. And, and ma'am, are you the only one that lives up this road? 
Ma'am? You might want to talk to her down there. Hi. If you, if you go down there, you might want to talk to her. Oh, her dog ran. Or your your dog ran up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just just back up enough yeah, to, to let her through. Yeah, 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 I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. You talk to yeah, everybody. Just go slow. Make sure you don't pull that out. Okay. Yeah, I won't pull it out. Yeah, yeah. Drive slow, man. <laughs> yeah. So right now, there's a lady who needs us to back up so that she can get in the driveway. Her dog ran in there, and she's looking for her puppers. Um, so again, if you're just tuning in right now. Earlier today, we were scanning a swamp doing sonar. Somebody heard over a police scanner that they found a pink vehicle. Uh, Natalie's vehicle is pink. Um, so here we are waiting to see what, waiting to see what we have behind us. So my thought is if it is her car, then us being here either flushed them out, kind of made them a little nervous, or perhaps it uh, refreshed the story in somebody's mind you know, causing them to notice the pink car. Either way, here we are. And the police, uh, the police truck did go, just go down in, on the property just a few minutes ago. Jared's, uh, oh, all right, there, there, there goes the lady looking for her dog. I hope she finds the dog. Oh, my girlfriend just texted me. She's online right now. Hey, Renee, how's it going, babe? Thanks for watching. We, again, we appreciate all you guys. We appreciate your donations. You guys make these trips possible. Um, without you, you know, it's you know, gas money, gear, food. Um, you guys, you guys are huge. You guys are a huge part of the team. So I'm going to try to zoom in and see if we can see anything. How's the sound? Can you guys hear me? Okay. So, right over here, where there's my fingers. There we go. So right over here, they started going into the property. So some of the cars took off. Others are starting to move the, move into the property. So if we we know if we see a you know an EMS vehicle, if we see a you know an ambulance come in, then they definitely found a body. Um, either way, you know if it's evidence or whatever, you, tow truck's going to come, and we'll, we'll be seeing we'll be seeing if it's a pink vehicle or not. Here comes Jared with the waters. Did they find her? We're not we're not sure yet. All we know is that we heard. A pink car has been found over the police scanner. We're looking for a pink car. There's not a whole lot of pink cars running around, hot pink cars, especially in a town like this. So here we are just waiting to see what we can find out. And I'm passing you guys back to Jared. It's Jared. <sighs> okay, so I did see a couple of uh, donations come through. So I do want to say uh, thank you to those of guys who uh, become members. So we do have a new member. Uh, Kaz Mob has become a part of the team. Thank you very much. Uh, it's because of uh, you, uh, your memberships that helps put fuel in our bellies, puts fuel in the vehicle, and you know keeps us in uh, you know dive gear and everything else. We really appreciate uh, your donations and becoming a member. Corey Johnson, thank you for your uh, hundred dollar donation. We have oh last night also. I forget your last name. Chad is his name. A thousand dollar donation. That's huge. Yes, that's and that's what keeps us out here. So really thank you very much for that donation as well. Uh, Johnny, thank you for uh, becoming a member. We have Tommy uh, Thor from Denmark uh, is on here. Denmark, uh, $100 donation. Thank you very much. Johnny Anderson, $25 donation. Thank you very much for all of that. To bring everybody up to speed, we are in Roosterville, Georgia, east of Ephesus, north of... Here, come come closer to me so and over here so I don't kick the cord out again I want to try to keep the uh, police policing in, in the background yeah, there. So in fact maybe we can try to put this between us so there, there we go. go if we go right there between us you and I can yeah, both we can be like kind of talk yes perfect um, great news we're now sending potential fraud voicemails I gotta clear that out Georgia your mosquitoes are crazy yes so working on Natalie Jones is what we've been working on the last two days today through not us cracking the case but maybe us being here has flushed out people getting an idea hey let's go check our property i don't know what the circumstances no, no, yeah, are yeah i mean maybe 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 as to just how the car was yeah the as, as to how a car was found today right now we cannot um, say that a pink car 100 percent has been found what we can say is across the police scanner a pink car was located 
a potential pink car was located. No other information as to human remains or anybody inside yeah, yeah. of the pink car. Don't have that yet. We are not saying that it is Natalie Jones. We are only saying that we are in town looking for Natalie Jones. Looking for a pink car. And this is what's happening right now. You are here with us live. So thank you for being here. And with that one, we I think everybody's got caught up to speed. I'm not gonna say this for like the next 20 minutes. So I would just like to go ahead and go through and answer some questions for everybody. I'll just uh, start scanning up a little bit and uh, answer any questions that we have. So wonder if they will intentionally wait till dark, uh, like last time. Like last time, They yeah. could. They do that. It'll be dark yeah. in about two hours. Oklahoma here, Georgia mosquitoes. Yes, they're huge. How did word come up about freezer? Uh, Nancy, the, the stories on the freezer, uh, again, small towns, lots of rumors get started. And the way that, let me make sure I'm not unplugging this. The yeah, way yeah, that the story came up on the freezer, in this came from mom and this came from several other confidential informants and with the word on the freezer was that a female witness was with a male and in the back of the male's truck was a freezer yes. like a like a deep freeze and with that freezer it stunk really bad now his story is that he is that he had 35 dead catfish in the back of it don't look in the freezer don't look in the freezer so the moment something like that happens, when you have somebody missing within the community, it immediately goes to, oh, well, Natalie's going to be in the freezer. So now this is where we go down the rabbit hole of Natalie's in the freezer, based upon the information that we have, over on Makosh Mill, over e separating Nic uh, Nicole from her car. Yeah. So the question that we had was, where's the car and can we find a freezer? And if we find a freezer or find a car and not a freezer, then we know that, hey, we've found the car. Uh, there's a report and we don't have much information other than a, uh, a vehicle has been found, a suspicious vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing a live right now. So if you go on YouTube, Adventures with Purpose, you'll get all the information going on right now. Uh, that was a gentleman that owns all that pro all that property over there. Landowner. Uh, we were actually on Welcome Road earlier today. Welcome Road, right there. Welcome. Yep. So we were over there. Yeah, we were allowed to be there. We were obviously welcomed. Yes. So with the so that's how the freezer came into play. Multiple sources talking about how Natalie may have been in the vehicle, and then a lot of rumors with the vehicle was in the storage unit. It may have been broken down. It may have been sold. Yeah. We had all that going yeah. on as well. So, I, I thought it would be broken down personally. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that answers that question. Let me uh, real quick. Uh, welcome new members. So traveling with Sherry Nilsson. Oh, hey, she upgraded her membership oh, to the air sponsor. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Yeah, thanks, Sherry. Uh, Sherry back there. She just upgraded her uh, membership to an air sponsor. She's been with us for the uh, last couple days. So uh, incredible hanging out with us. We also have a new member, Stacy, uh, part of the team. We have actually been recording and we're not just this live, but we've been recording for the last two days. We have two episodes coming out for you. Yeah. Uh, our search yesterday, and then you're going to receive all of our search today and everything that's going on. Dan, Dan, the cameraman, is down there. He's grabbing some beautiful uh, long lens shots for you, as well as some gimbal shots. He's been recording the entire story today. So thank you to Dan, Dan, the cameraman. Is Chaos Divers on here? Jacob, are you on? Jacob, I, say hello. I haven't seen Jacob yet. So if he's on, Dave. Brock, Brock the Rock's on right now. What's up, Brock? Okay. Um, anyway, so we do have a, a couple of moderators on, so thank you for being here. I know that Dave Mack is on. Dave was actually complaining earlier that we were going to be doing live too late today. Uh, so I think that this is partially his doing. David Mack. Yes, that we are doing this live a lot earlier yeah. because of the phone call that came in to us. Yeah. So thank you to... Uh, I won't say names because we are in a small town and yeah, a small town yeah, they, do that. they don't want to be to they don't want to be on camera and they don't want no. their names exposed because But thank you, you know you are your information yes it's helped, greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, allowed us to be here today. Where was I going with that story though? Um Anyway, a lot of information came across. We appreciate yeah. everybody in this town that gave us the information. Uh, we also have a donation from uh, Fraser. If they wait until dark, get your uh, O lights ready. Yeah. Yes, and that will brighten the night for sure. Yeah, well, that tow truck's going, I think mean, they're going to go one or two ways, so we should be able to catch up to the tow truck. Yep. 
uh, Stuart, thank you for uh, your uh, becoming a part of the team member as a team uh, part of the team. That's where I was going with this. Um, also, James, thank you for becoming part of the team. So those of you who uh, are putting forth uh, your financial dollars to help us out um, you, and becoming a member, you will get videos early. So when this video, we have two videos coming out on this one. So you'll get these, these videos early yes. as soon as Dan is done editing them. It could take a week ish to two weeks to get them done we also have josh minor uh, are you still on here anyway josh minor is doing all of our uh, music scores now as well thank you josh uh, offering up his services so that way we can bring you a better uh better recap a better uh content a better show um at the end of the day so thank you josh for uh, being on here and helping us out odin um i'll give you a recap so matt moss was asking for a recap but let me uh, say thank you to a few more uh, new members that are on here uh, part of the team as well as the donations are coming through because we are a hundred percent out of pocket self-funded no government agencies uh, if you saw the very beginning of the stream we did have an interaction with the sheriff um, with that one he preferred that we do not share any information kind of not even be here but we are you know we do, we do fall under the media clause and for that reason we are we do have the right to record at a an appropriate distance they yeah. have just they have decided what the perimeter is so they've said don't go past this line yep. is where we're at right now so we're bringing it to you live right now it could be natalie we cannot say that it is natalie it could be a pink car it could be her car it could be her car we don't have confirmation that is the pink car but across um what's it called the, the scanner police scanner across the police scanner it was reported that a pink a potentially pink car has been located so we are in south of roosterville georgia with yeah. a potentially pink car and i can't even say that matches the description of natalie's i just i'm saying that there's only so many pink cars yeah, in the area yeah, there's not a lot of, pink of a cars. small county where there's only one i, I, I can't remember i can't present. remember the last time i seen a pink car um yes i can um who's the um there's a uh they do like makeup and stuff. Mary Kay, Mary Kay, they get pink Cadillacs. Yeah. But so have, this is not a pink but, but Cadillac. Like, I've seen it on the road though. I haven't seen one on the road. Yeah. Um, not, that's a rare thing. So we also have uh, another $100 donation out of uh, Denmark. Keep up the good work from Odin. Thank you very much. We have a new member, um, air sponsor, Johnny Anderson. He upgraded uh, an air sponsor. Thank you very much. That puts uh, air in our tanks. Uh, we also have uh, part of the team. Brent has become- Somebody a, says they've seen a van go in there. A new member. Was there a van that goes? I wonder there? if it was a a corner van. Yeah. Um, also, uh, a donation from Lance, twenty dollars donation. Thank you very much. And hey Dan, we, we have a, a van part of the team, Richard. No. no. Somebody thought they saw a van going. Yeah, right. If you see any like interesting vehicles, pull up. Yeah, make I'll, sure. I'll let you guys yeah, make sure you okay. get our attention. There wasn't a van. I mean, that suburban drove in. Oh, okay. Okay. I've, I've, I've seen trucks also be used with camper shells yeah. um, as a coroner, a medical, medical examiner. Yeah. So we could have a medical examiner on site right now. We have no confirmation as to medical examiner. We don't have any yeah. information to anything right now. We have, no con we have no official confirmation on a pink car, no official confirmation on it being Natalie. But I so hope that today is the day that Natalie has been found and that we will see a pink Cavalier within an hour or two that will at least give some hope that, you know, to Elaine, Elaine is uh, yeah. Nicole's mom. You need a scanner? Yes, we do need a scanner. We were just talking about that a little bit ago. We need a couple of things. So we did end up picking up this uh, Wii Boost. I don't know how well the Wii Boost is actually working. We are in a rural uh, county. Yeah, We've had terrible cell phone service, and they're terrible. It's terrible. Like one bar, two bars. This this live was not supposed to happen until this evening in town where we actually had service. So the good news is is that at least we're get, we're able to live stream right now. Thank so, you very much. So, so yes. What's the distance on how close you can fly a drone? You know, I, legally? I'm not going to... I mean, I know we're not going to do it, but yeah, I'm we're, just, we're not just curious. Did, out of, out of, yeah, from a legal side of this, everybody, if somebody can research real quick, what is the legalities as far as media or any drone going up when there's a criminal uh, investigation going on right now? Yeah. Uh, we want to respect it, but... Yeah, we're not doing it. We're just kind of yeah. curious. But, I mean, if we could put, like, 
scan in the air, like from way back over there, where they're not yeah, going to notice. Yeah, because that's how, how high does that thing go? That goes like. Well, he's not supposed to fly higher than 400 or 500 feet. So they said, even, even though it's 249 said, grams. Fly the drone there. Tell them it was mine. I love you. Yeah, we're not going to fly the drone. No, we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, cops don't only hate drones. Somebody just said cops hate drones, but uh, they also do not like cameras. They do not. So, but we have a camera. We and do. we are here we filming cameras. it live for you this evening is what we're at. So Natalie Jones could or could not be in the vehicle. Let me say thank you to a few more people. Grab some water and then let's uh, jump into uh, people would like a recap as to what's going on. We have new people that are, have just come on. Also, listen, there's 3,200 of you on this right now. What keeps us going are the live streams and the likes, the, the YouTube algorithm. So smash that thumbs up that you're here. We have over 3,000 people on. So let's see if we can get that, you know, the, that like to over 2,000. See how high you can get that. Leave your comments, leave your, uh, your chats. We're going to get to some of them. I'm sorry if we can't get all of them. With that being said, say hi for a minute, Sam, mm -hmm. and let me yeah, grab, grab a little bit of water. Or Look at that. Dan's going to go sneak into the woods over there. Dan! Dan Dan has Ryan, the military guy, so they're going to... you guys going to crawl on your bellies? No. This road actually is like this, like an intersect thing. Like, it goes in between these two, so we're going to look from the back. Got your phone on you? Okay. All right, call me. I mean, but call me if you, you guys got a good view. Cr crawl on your bellies if you have to. Yeah, call me if you got a Get good Get really view. close. Where's your, uh, what do they call it, a ghillie suit? Ghillie suit. Yeah, get your... All right, so we need uh, some snipers on scene so that way we can have you, you in guys your... Guys, crawl in for in us. Your, in your ghillie suit with the cameras so that way we can uh, uh, yeah. get some better shots for you. Um, Corey Johnson, thank you very much. I wonder if it was Corey or Chad last night. An $800 donation via PayPal. That is really going to help us uh, put some money into scanners and a better boost system. I don't know what the best cell phone booster is, but we really need, like, we have to be like within five feet of the cell phone booster. Yeah. And so we have it kind of portable, so we moved it up onto yeah, the roof. So yeah. here's, the, here's the main antenna, and then here's like the little booster antenna that we have to be like within five to 10 feet of this. Uh, so let me actually address questions here, because we're gonna be here a while. Yeah. Like we're not going yeah. anywhere for a while. And then we'll do some recap. So if you need a recap right now, Please scroll through the comments or somebody else kind of help bring uh, people up to speed as to what's going on. And then I'm going to work on comments because I'm very terrible at answering comments. People are always asking. So if you see okay, anything. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll monitor comments. If you guys have any questions, I'll try my best to pick them out. Okay, so question. Is the car in water or woods? The car is currently in woods that I am aware of. I don't, I'm not aware of any. Yeah, we're not we're not aware yes matt moss says if you're in airspace regulations aren't restricted for flying your drone and the military hasn't shut down the airspace you're legal to fly that's what matt moss says um is the car in the water or the woods so yeah we think it's in the woods pretty sure um ghillie suit did i say that wrong somebody was making fun of me for saying ghillie suit right lone wolf i wonder if lone wolf is related to um it's a wolf gang the wolf gang uh, just tell them smile. You're on candid camera for sure. Smile. Uh, donate with PayPal. Thank you for si uh, sharing that, uh, Jacob. Yes, if you donate via PayPal, if you have PayPal, then YouTube does not take out any of their fees. They do take out um, a couple of fees, but if you can only donate here on YouTube or on YouTube, we would appreciate that as well. Um, Y'all do an amazing job. Thank you, Brett. Thank you for uh, Our being. Our heads are blocking everything. Well, there's not much going on right now, so here we'll go like this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brett. Uh, for uh, your support and being here. Jessica says, uh, you go down the back road access. That's where Dan's heading to right now. The drone is no- I wonder, I wonder if I should follow and do a different live for those of you who have two cell phones. I don't, I think that'll take away from what's happening yeah, over right. here. Yeah, we'll stay here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, the woods, hi guys, just, oh, I need to move my hand away from the camera. Hi guys, just joined. Please give me an update, Anita. Anita, we'll give a, a full recap in, uh, let's say, five to ten minutes. I'm just getting through some of these comments here because we're terrible at answering comments. Um, he will get arrested. Dan, uh, that's okay because I think that if Dan gets arrested, I think that the viewers will help us bell Dan out. Give us a thumbs up if I, that's correct. So move, move that little needle from 1,500 likes right now to let's see if we can get that up over 2,000 likes. There's 3,000 of you on right now. That really helps the algorithm and helps uh, helps everything that we're doing out here. Um, will he get arrested? Probably. You are really 
You are a real Scooby-Doo and the mystery machine investigators. Oh, man. That's what we should do for the side of the RV. We should get the RV wrapped with a mystery Scooby -Doo. machine. Scooby-Doo. Uh, there's a... Uh, what, how do we say this? There's a... There's a... Um, My, mysterious car. Yes. It could be pink in color. It's in the, it's in the woods back here. Yeah you, yeah, you can go that way. You guys see anything? Um, will you, do you have Esteban's phone number? Esteban, you should be on the live right now. He wants to know what time we're going to be there because we have oh, the dude? a rack of deer waiting for us. Ooh, for no, we're, no, we're excited to be there, but yeah. you see what's going on, bro. Well, no, he texted he privately. Uh, so is there a way to... Somebody, uh, I don't I have don't Esteban's phone number. Esteban. Oh, um, Jacob, if you have Esteban Moto Moto's phone number by chance, will you text him? Yeah. Tell him to get on the live and let him know what's going on. That we're probably going to end up missing dinner. But we, with him. But we still want dinner. We still want dinner. We but st might be still, later. Yeah, we're still going over there, but it might might be midnight. Um, let's see. Let me go through here. So we have a cell service in, and this is very surrounding areas. Very horrible. So a question, you guys just being there increased people looking. I think it definitely brought back awareness to the case. Um, so that people probably did do some research and they probably learned about the pink car or just refreshed everything. So maybe somebody was driving by and they noticed the, the pink car. We're not sure, we're hanging out to see what it is. So. If, you, if you wanna know the exact location where we're at right now, look up Roosterville, Roosterville Road in Ephesus. Ephesus. Georgia or Heard County and we are at the very corner of Roosterville and this is Welcome Road. So Welcome Road and Roosterville and if you go just south, oh I don't, I don't unplug that, no. and if you go just south of Welcome Road, it is the first property on the southeast corner is where we're currently at. So southeast corner. Is it public or it's private land? Yeah it's they're on private land so, yeah. we, so we can't go. We're just, but well, we do, if we get permission from the owner. Yeah, we get permission no. from the owner. But we do know that the tow truck is going to be going in there, and the tow truck is going to be coming out. So we're kind of waiting to see what the, what's on the tow truck. Yeah, because they're not going to cover up an entire car. No. Well, actually, they could. They could. I don't know how to do that. Here's the thing. When they, if you missed the very beginning of the stream, the sheriff did come over. Nice guy. Yep. As well as that very cordial with us. They kind of asked that we don't put this on social media and that we don't share any information i'm like we are live we are media we are not reporting that this is natalie we are not reporting that this is a pink car we are only saying what has been broadcast across the scanner mm -hmm. that's all we're doing right now is we're only reporting what has been reported is all we're doing. But if you guys happen to see something, I guess you happen to see something. We do, yes. Then at that point, then we'll be like, hey, we have a pink car. Because is it a pink Cavalier? We don't know yet, but we're going to find out in a little bit. Anyway, that's the location on where we're at. Let me get to some more uh, questions here. All right, uh, and I'll, I'll kind of go to this side. In fact, I might, I don't know the best way to, because I want you in the shot as well, but we need to turn a little bit. So turn. Turn, yeah, turn to the, does that work that way? No, no, no. no, that totally didn't work that way. Turn back this way. Let me move in front of you a little bit. Yeah, good. Okay. Does, does that work? Yeah, I think it works. So I'll just kind of, I'll move. Yeah, yeah. You do what you yeah. I mean, you look like a giant no matter where you're at. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, so let me, go, let me go through some more comments real quick. Can I go this way and the phone will work? No. No, it won't Can't work. do it. Okay. So, um. Potato cameras suck. Potato cameras. I don't know what that is. The, probably the cell phones. So no drone. Oh, here we go. Somebody just said no drone with a with 150 feet. I don't know. I, I just lost the comment on that one. Can you walk down to the tape? No, we've uh, been told to maintain a perimeter as media. Well, like, and not just told, like, stop right there. We told you to stay back. Like, we got that. So that's why we, we are as close as they have allowed us to get is where we're at. Um... Good job, guys. Thank you. You pronounced ghillie suit correct. Thank you very much. Natalie Jones searching a pink car. Yes, that's what we're here. Jack's mom. We are searching for Natalie Jones in a pink car across the police scanner. Somebody found a suspicious vehicle that was pink in color. That's where we're at in this evening right now. We've been in town for two days looking for Natalie Jones. 
who went missing in July 4th of 2020. She is a 27 year old, two children. Two children. Four, uh, two four, boys. Four and 11. Four and 11. We've met with her mother yesterday. And nice lady invited us in. Yes, out of, like we just kind of showed up. We did, and she was very kind to us. And we've been updating her uh, about our progress throughout the day. Right now, uh, we have not notified Elaine. So if Elaine is on, I apologize because I'm also on my phone and I cannot get your phone number. So I hope that Elaine is on. And we're not allowed to say Elaine. We're not currently allowed to say because we don't even know. But the sheriff did come over like they want to be the one to notify any family or next of kin is what he said that yeah. that they don't want next of kin being notified any other way but right now we're on a public road it came across the public you know across the scanner that's where we're at and our, our agreement with the mother was to let her know so to keep her informed so. yes so Jacob, what's up, Jacob? I don't have Moto's number. He doesn't. Have, Jacob doesn't have Moto's number. I don't have Moto's number either. So I hope that uh, Moto. Everyone in the chat that keeps saying that their tow trucks like over on the other end of the road, we are just down there, and there's no way you can get a vehicle. Okay. So Dan was just saying that uh, in the uh, chat, you guys were saying that there's a road on the other right, side. I'll catch you later, bro. Dan and Ryan just went on a scouting hunt over there, and he says that there's no way that they're going to get a tow truck in over there. So. If there's a tow truck showing up, they are not going to sneak past us. The tow truck is coming in uh, over here. So that's where we're at on that one. Uh, the black, let's see, car left and passed. How much did I miss? You missed a lot, but Kelly Taylor, we're gonna catch you up in just a few minutes. Uh, Nola, car, watch behind you ever since July 4th. What up guys? Georgia has drone laws depending on public versus private property. We are on private property right now. But again, air, air, airspace is different. I but think. here's the thing, okay? You, I hope that all of you know enough about us by now that you know that hey, we're not just cowboys. We're not just out here to, you know, grab the shot for you. And we're we're not paparazzi. At the end of the day, we are not paparazzi. We're out here to see how many families we can help, as well as clean up the environment. Like this, hey, we want to be respectful. Yeah, because we we do want to work with local agencies and this local agency was actually very cordial super, super cool very very cool with us this yeah. morning good, and good people and if we ever have to come back to this county also we don't want to take that away and we also don't want more getting out like you know these two are just like a couple of yahoos and they just run all over the country and they piss off you know officers wherever they go so we're not gonna that's not who we are so if you saw our, our interactions and you'll see you know on you know on the nick video that's coming out the interactions that took place there we don't make anybody look bad if they want to look bad that's on them 100 percent they're not going to cherry pick out of there are they i think that's just uh our people they have another suburban up there too uh I'll answer a couple more questions actually let me uh say thank you we have a let me get to this one uh, we have a new member, Tyler Briggs. Thank you for becoming a uh, part of the team. Uh, that really helps us out with your uh, $5 donation. Um, Sherry Nelson, who's down below, someone just commented that they blocked the road and the van left. I haven't seen a van leave. Sherry, I think your eyes aren't working. I see you over there. Hi, Sherry. Incredible uh, supporter that's uh, been out hanging with us for a couple days. Tyler Briggs, thank you, a $5 donation. Hey, can I... Uh, have a catch up only just join spend this uh, on some food and some fuel thank you very much oh, yes we'll give you a recap thank in just guys. a moment thank you so much guys david thank you uh, for becoming uh, a part of the team this evening a lot is you're going to see a lot more happening this evening more than just a couple of vehicles back there we are going to have confirmation no, no, we got some days oh the other that's a sheriff vehicle right or are they just asking questions? Can I zoom in over there? Yeah. Yeah, here, I'll zoom in like that. So I don't know if that's like another uh, deputy or if it's just uh, a friend of the uh, officers here. Um, all right, so I'll give you guys a recap. Let me go two more minutes on questions and then I will uh, do that. So uh, Debbie says, on Google Maps, looks like 
uh, their police in old log clear cut area. Wouldn't it be cool if we had like live Google Maps, like you could see oh, in real time? Yeah. Like, be, hey, there's Jared over there hanging out. Yeah, it looks like we got another truck going in. On top. Are they going in? Yeah. It's kind of. Uh... So, maybe a uh, investigator. I think if we just drive the RV closer and we just say, hey, we're here to investigate, maybe they'll let us in. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll give it a try. All right, so we now have a, a new truck that is into the scene. Could be a, a medical examiner, I don't know. Could be a... Uh, yeah, we have neighbors walking over to say hi. Yeah. All right, let's flip back, back around here. Uh, let Please let her know, her mom know, before she finds out from the press. I don't have her phone number right now. The mom's number? Yeah, the mom's number. Let me uh, pull it up on my phone and then you can call her. So. Oh, thank you very much for your for your time and your support. So we have uh, viewers and fans driving past uh, to donate. Th thank, thank you, you. thank you very much. That was really nice of wow, her. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so let me do this. I'm gonna scroll up. So everybody bear with me for about 30 seconds. I'm taking this uh, up. I'm gonna scan to my contacts and find Elaine's phone number real quick. So I'm gonna turn this. So in three, two, one, we're going offline for 30 seconds. Jacob, keep it going. Okay, so we're, we're, we are back. So thank you everybody for uh, hanging out with us. Well, how, how about either I walk away with that or you walk away with this and call they, they don't need to hear the conversation with the mom yeah yeah i'll, I'll walk away right now so sam's gonna hang out with you because you yeah, can't walk yeah. away because we have no, this no, I'll, so I'll, I'll i'm gonna i'm gonna call mom right now yeah, okay you go, yeah you go call mom watch that yep oh, i'll make sure we don't get unplugged yeah you're good jared good let's go ahead and walk away yeah so jared's walking away right now so he can talk to the mom i figure that's kind of a private conversation um the whole world doesn't need to hear that so i'm gonna go Let's see, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to catch them if I can. Once again, earlier today, we were scanning. We were doing sonar on a local pond. Actually, we, it was our fourth or fifth location for the day. We were looking for Natalie Jones. She was in a pink car. And during that time, we... Oh, wow. Um, during that time, it came through on the police scanner that they had found a pink car. And so here we are, we're looking, we're waiting to see what comes out of that driveway back there. We're thinking that us being here either flushed them out, you know, made them a little nervous, made them, you know, wanting to get rid of the car, or perhaps maybe just refresh the story in people's minds so that they noticed the police car when it came. I'm gonna scan down real quick, see if I can see. Sam, we can't see, move your head. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you guys go. So I'm gonna to try to zoom in a little bit better and we can kind of see what's going on back there. Again, right now, Jared is on the phone with the mother, um, letting her know what kind of things we're coming across. We, we made an agreement with her that we would keep her posted on things. And so he's talking to her right now and he'll be back shortly. And uh, again, we do not have confirmation um, if she is there or even if it is her car. But the fact that, hey, they found a pink car, there's a bunch of cops there. Uh, there's not a whole lot of pink cars that I see on the road, especially in a small town like this. Um, it definitely, it's definitely worth us being here and checking out. So just let me see with questions. I see your nose. All right, yep, I see your nose too. Thanks, Sam, no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so again, here we are. We're waiting to see what comes out of that driveway. Um, the, hopefully a tow truck will show up soon. And we can see what's going on. You do, you do your thing right now, okay? And then um, call us call and then it, on this number because the other the other one is live right now, okay? So if you want to watch, the, okay, bye bye. What'd you say? All right, cool. I'll, I'll change it. All right, I'm gonna give you guys back to Jared. Um. I just got done talking with mom. And what the only thing I'm going to say right now, Sam, yeah. and everybody here, is that the officers just left mom's house. What? So, oh. 
So right now we are still not allowed to confirm nor deny anything that's going on. I, I mean, I guess we could, but oh. we're, not, we're not going to confirm nor deny. She, she, just, she just said that the officers just left her house. The officers just left her house. Okay then. So, I'm sure you guys can do math. We're, so we're gonna stay here uh, and film uh, and keep the uh, live going for you this evening. That's where we're at right now. We, uh, Sam and I, we've been working on the Nally case the last two days down here in uh, Ephesus and Franklin and Heard County is where we're at. So Ephesus is the town. We're currently on the corner of Welcome Road and Roosterville in Heard County and you saw if you started at the beginning of the live stream there was a lot of officers that were here and you had quite a few officers that left I just spoke with mom and the officers just left mom's house as well so that's where we're that's where we're at in this right now we're gonna keep the uh, live stream going until until the vehicle and the uh, scene uh, is done this evening so that's the update that we have for you the eventually I will be able to shout it out and let you know with a hundred percent 100 percent like we're looking for Natalie I don't know how the best way to say it but I think you I think that everybody knows okay anyway let me answer a few more questions for you we're gonna be here for uh, quite a while uh, yes do pray for uh, Natalie's uh, mom and her family for sure um, it's not a house, just the corner of the woods. Yes, we're at the corner of the woods. Um, Y'all are awesome brothers. Keep up the great work. Thank you, OSB, for being a uh, part of the team, and thank you for that. Uh, I am about to cry because the boys had no reason to kill Natalie. We we are not saying, I'm not saying that this is a uh, Joseph White is who I'm responding to. Uh, you believe that some boys may have killed her. There's a lot of rumors going around. I don't have any any confirmation as to anything right now. So whether this was a, an accident or whether it was uh, intentional. Uh, so it went blurry. If it went blurry, that's because I had to uh, pull off line for a few minutes. So that way we could get the phone number for mom. Um, hello, what's the update? I'll give you that in just a moment, uh, Tammy. Uh, thank you guys for all you do. Uh, what that was probably the car that left you didn't see and went to her house there were several cars that left and we saw several uh, take off out of here praying for Natalie and her mom yes I do pray for Natalie and her mom um, uh, poor mom for sure prayers for Natalie's family yes do pray for uh, Natalie's uh, Natalie's mom and her family uh, Elaine is her name by the way Elaine is uh, Natalie's mom um, so they confirmed that it might be her. I'm saying they have not confirmed anything with us. What I am saying is I have spoken with mom. Okay, that's what I'm saying right now. A hunter could have found it. Yes, a could, hunter could have found it. Um, Nellie's mom, Nellie's mom on her way. Nellie's mom knows uh, the location. The officers uh, have been to her house. The officers have left her house and Natalie's mom, Elaine, knows right where we're at right now. Uh, be careful sitting on top of the RV because the uh, roof leaks, so don't make my roof leaky. Just, try, try my best. Yes. How long has she been missing? Uh, Robert, she's been missing since July 4th of, 2000 and, or of 2020. So, was that how many months is that now? Since when? I can't do the math. Since, since July 4th. Of 2020, this 2020? year. Yeah. July, how do you know? July. It's October now, right? Yeah. Fig right, you, you, you do the math on that one. Uh, well, we know by October, the drop in your mood. Uh, closure for another family, yes. And and we can't take closure for this one, Sean, but yes, it is a closure for another family. We can only say that we were in town the last two days looking for Natalie, and today Natalie was found. We were not the ones who found her. Nope. We cannot say that us being here caused her to be found. We can say that us being here did not not cause for her to be found. So yeah. um, we can... I, I have my theory. I think us being here stirred something up. Um, either somebody was trying to get rid of something 
or it just refreshed the story in people's minds. That way they said, oh wow, there's a pink car. So I'm thinking that, you know, us, I don't know, that, that's my theory, but, hope, but hopefully we can figure that out and we can put that in the video that we're gonna be releasing. Yeah. Uh, oh no, this is definitely e Either way, either way. Yeah. Um, um, at least, uh, yes, at least, uh, anyway, and Jerica, I mean, she says at least she was found again at, at this time. Well, we, yeah, we don't know. Moment that. time, I will not say publicly. I'll say that. Um, what's Dan's phone number? Uh, what's Dan's phone number? Richard, Richard wants to know. Can you, I don't know the best way. Uh, down, do. down, down on my, Richard, if you're watching, I'll have, uh, Dan call Email. you right now. Email. No, no, I have uh, his business card oh, okay, down below. Yeah. Dan, yeah. down in my uh, room. Are uh -huh. you are you recording right now? Am I doing what? Are you recording? Or are you offline for a moment? I'm offline. At the time. Uh, okay, head down into my uh, room, yeah. and over on my side nightstand, there's a uh, business card for the uh, gentleman from last night. Call his cell phone number right now. He's trying to get a hold of us. There's a card on your. I couldn't hear because. The yeah, there's a card on my uh, nightstand. So for the gentleman that was here last night, give him a call. So, all right, Richard. All right, now I just said his name. That's all right. There's lots of Richards. Richard, he's uh, Dan's getting his. Getting just, it. just point. Uh, a new one? No, no, no. It's me asking you a question. Oh, did mom? And you're. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Is what I'm gonna go with. Um, oh, that Corey Johnson uh, also. I, um, donated last night a thousand dollars and eight hundred dollars today so thank you thank, th thank you Corey for all that you do to help support us that's it insurance guy or towing guy the green yep that one right there the insurance one yep that one there yeah he's the insurance dude yep all right uh he's calling you uh oh oh crap balls did you just say call him live all right you said you just said she was All right, nothing has been confirmed. Yeah. Mom said the sheriff just left her house. That's what we're saying right now. Uh, zoom, uh, zoom in. People are going, are going in. So nobody else is going in right now at the moment, but I'll kind of leave it there. Norma, thank you uh, so much for your hundred dollar donation. That helps us uh, stay on the road and do what it is we're doing out here. Thank you, Christy Gonzalez, for your ten dollar donation. Do we need anything? Um, I'm hoping that we have deer later with uh, Moto Moto, but uh, right now we don't need anything. Yeah, we're all good right now. Thank you. Yep. Tell tell them thank you uh, also tell for everything. Everything. Yep. Yep. All right. Let me uh, go through this. Uh, love the channel here. Thank you very much, Mister. People are afraid of all of them, individuals and property owners in, in that town car pulled in we're looking for a tow truck later um, is what we're hoping for another truck just entered you missed it um, since fall is here a lot of leaves are coming off the trees this could have just uh, helped them spot the vehicle a uh, white car went in please stay zoomed a white SUV went in there we go yeah Got Mr. Motorcycle Man. sir how are you good. good 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 your property your property? Not really. Okay, cool. You might you cool with us here? Yeah. All right, awesome. Appreciate it. Um, so the um, you're aware of Natalie Jones? The missing person. The missing 27 year old. Yep. yep. So uh, there's a came across the uh, police scanner. Are you okay with being on stream? Uh, I came across uh, the police scanner that the, a pink car may have been located. So that's where we're at right now. Do, do, you, do you have any views from your property in? What do you mean? Like, can you, like, up this driveway, can you see down there? Oh, no, it, it goes up, then it goes down. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, big hill. Yeah. So, th so that's what's. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what's going on right now. Yeah. A um, uh, hundred donation from uh, Norma Pierce. So thank you very much. Your donations is what keeps us on the road and keeps us uh, fuel in the tank food in our bellies so really appreciate that we're on a cross-country 2020 uh trip right now uh-huh yeah 
Yeah, there's been a lot of reports as to uh, where the car. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Chevy. Uh, a whole lot of pink cars running around. Yeah, Chevy Cavalier. Um, all right, so we're going to get back to this over here. Right. And he said that that car was just recently put there because they drove back here yesterday and it was not there. <gasps> See, bro, I told you, I think we stirred something up. So, so the report that we just, so the report that we just got, and we cannot confirm nor deny this, but what we were just told, we should actually turn back around so that we were talking to him. I feel better talking to everybody. I forgot to get there. Okay. You're sitting all fine. So. But the car wasn't visible from the road, though, was it? Yeah. Because when you guys drove past, we didn't see the, the pink car. No, we could see it back in the... I think it might be talking about trees. Okay. Yeah, we trees. Okay. We could see the back end. Okay. So, the... So, Sam's going to go for a walk. I'll catch you all in a minute. No. This is getting to you, isn't it? Yeah, well, I need to go see. Yeah. yeah. Sam's, Sam's going to... Sam's gonna go clear his head a little bit. So the um, she, no, can we walk that way? I don't know. You can try. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd You're like, probably I'd, I'd like to walk up the hill and give it a peek. Yeah, you can try going through the woods. So Sherry was just Man. just talking to the uh, neighbors. I decided not to. I don't want to get arrested. And by neighbors, I mean here's where Sherry was parked. The neighbors that came down from this driveway right here were talking to Sherry, and they said that car was not there yesterday. Yeah. wild so if it is i'm thinking we flushed it out but i cannot confirm nor deny i mean that could just be a story they maybe it was just not noticed but well, we're, we're gonna find out we're gonna find out soon enough and as well as another theory is we're coming in the fall time so maybe the leaves are starting to okay the leaves are not falling off the trees yet but another story was that maybe the leaves are falling off the trees and that's why the car was yeah seen now, now, now that's a very now that's a very good point um the leaves are falling uh, it went missing in july um, the fact that you know leaves are thinning, you can see through a little better. So that that makes that makes total sense. Yeah. Um, we have uh, one of our confidential informants is on wa watching right now. It has been incredible help. Thank you. You know who you are. Just texted me and said you are 100% made this happen. Thank you. Um, right now, I cannot say that I can take credit for this at all. I can say that we came to... That's an official looking uh, vehicle. Yeah, we, we came to town. I think it's just a Ford Explorer. We came to town because you, the viewers, said, hey, you should go look for Natalie Jones. You direct us here. We were in the area. We had a few extra days. And what I can say is that Sam and I and Dan and the entire team with, you know, Riley showing up and, you know, um, Sherry showing up, helping us come to the area your donations put us here to do what we could to search waterways and follow up on a few theories and locations yeah with that we did not find her with our own eyes nope at this top point in time we cannot take credit either that this car was found today because of us what we can say is is that this vehicle was found while we were in town that's what we can say right now so thank thank you to uh, the one that did text me that says you know you are 100 percent you know made this happen um yeah if, it, if, that, if that's true you're the one that helped make this happen all the also, viewers all also, the viewers all, all you the guys. viewers um the one uh, also richard that ended up calling us as well tipping us off that hey get over to roosterville road right now yeah, yeah. because you're only a couple miles away from there yeah it was huge so thank thank you for uh, all of that the, uh, let me just say thank you to a few more. Um, we're also just, uh, told don't buy the leaf theory. Uh, 100%, I'm not buying the leaf theory because I'm looking around and there's leaves all over. Uh, it sounds like it was dumped. Yeah. It sounds like it was just recently dumped. So if, if, for, if for a fact the neighbors had seen down that property and they 100% know the car was not there yesterday or and that there was a car there today correct the car does not the, if the car is there that doesn't mean that the body's in it 100 percent correct but it does mean there's another piece to the puzzle if it is the car yes 
we will we will know more in a little bit we we will know something before this is over this evening we will have and we can officially say right now we cannot officially say but i'm going to say that we officially know can i say that i'm getting myself in all types of trouble i can never i can say it Are you going to say No, I'm not going to say because I didn't talk to the mom. Yeah. So that's what... You're, you're the one that talked to the mom. Yes. I, I have spoken with mom. Okay? I will say that I have spoken with mom. And you said that. So what they do know right now is that uh, the pink car came, that it was found over the scanner. The neighbors over here said it was recently dumped. It wasn't there yesterday. And mom just got visited by the police who uh, just left her house just a little bit ago. Neighbors, but, I, but I'm not going to say the car has not been there this entire time. No, no, we're not gonna say that, but we are gonna say that the neighbors uh, said that they hadn't noticed it. And I'm telling you, a pink car, in my opinion, is pretty dang noticeable. Yeah, and you're not gonna take it, if for some reason it was dumped overnight, you're not gonna drive it too far from here. And we have a locations as to a few people that happen to live in the area. Correct. We'll say that as well. All right, I'm gonna answer some more questions. Um, so you need to take a deep breath. Yes, I need to take lots of deep. <laughs> I need to take lots of deep breaths. Okay. Um, let's go with a few more questions. Jared is just freaking out. <laughs> no, he's just he just gets that way. That's Mega, that's, that's just how he is. Yes. Um, yeah, no, I was shaking earlier. At least I'm able to hold the phone now and not shake. Like earlier, look, it looked like this is what the phone looked like earlier when we first started the live stream. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're getting better. Go back and check out the uh, beginning of the live stream. Uh, if she is found in the car, has been from July until now, she will be very, very bad condition. Yes, 100%. Um, she had to be in the car or sheriffs would not have went, went to mom's house. Right? Uh, they wouldn't have went, no tow truck yet. Uh, by finding the car and the investigators made it obvious when they went over they found the car is this being recorded we can watch the full video later yes it's going to be a two-part series uh, day number one and day number two and you're going to have all of everything uh, our search there, everything to play hey, sorry so just let everybody know not to click on any links how about, how about, uh, hold on, how about, how about you let them know? Yeah, don't click on any links, because why? Don't click on any links that I haven't posted because people are trying to... Don't click on any links that I haven't posted because people are trying to... That's they are to trying to get money for themselves. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, ja if Jacob is not posting the links... Thanks, bro. Yeah, if Jacob is not posting any links, do not click any, on any links. Unfortunately, we live in a world of scammers and yeah. crap heads. Ch chaos divers. Yes. Chaos so. divers. Yes. Yeah, so Jacob. Only click on links from chaos divers. Um, okay. Wish I could help out, but Nikki, just you being here. Thank you. All, all we ask is if you're, we have a tow truck here. No, no, that's okay. Never mind. That's just, that scared both of us. That's just a flatbed. Yeah, just a flatbed. Yeah, exciting right though. I did. I thought that we had it. <laughs> Well, we're, we are in the backwoods, too. I mean, that could be the tow truck here. Not really. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. But probably not. Yeah, uh, tow truck, it was not really behind us. False alarm, no tow truck. Oh. But the, <laughs> I'm sure there will be uh, yeah, later we'll, on. We'll, we'll keep watching for it. I 100% um, believe uh, that it was you guys. Thank you. Um, I share this uh, here in Kansas. My friend's name from Australia, thank you very much. Uh, if there wasn't a body in the car, why would the tow truck not be there? Uh, no tow truck yet. No tow trucks yet. But there will be a tow truck, I'm sure. Um, God bless you guys, guys. False alarm, says Tara Mason. Yeah, false alarm for sure. Yep. Um, Please don't fall off the roof, Jared. Yeah, I almost, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> car was planted, and uh, we don't know if the car was planted or not. We're, right now there's a story going around, a theory, that possibly the car was not there yesterday. Mm -hmm. After word got out that we were in town, car the appears. car appeared the very next day. Mm -hmm. Magic. What's up, Brian? Um, Hold up. Hold, what's going on? She doesn't want to be on camera. Who, what did you say? She said that 
we have somebody here that oh, Natalie, Natalie dated her like son recently, the, like when this all this. So, so, so Natalie dated her son. She doesn't want to be on camera. Okay. Okay. So Natalie dated her son. She doesn't want to be on camera. So we have you know somebody nearby. Just grab a story for us, Sam, if you would, and see. Just grab a story. It looks like she's actually leaving. I don't know. Did she have anything else to say? She just said that she was really close to uh, uh, her kids. So she, kids. so she knew Natalie, and she knew Natalie's kids. Okay. So, so we have a uh, uh, older than me, a lady that just stopped by, that her son had dated Natalie, and she was close to her kids as well. Yeah. So we're getting some more information on that one. We're, we're going to have a lot of information showing up uh, in the next hour or two for sure. Um, listen, let's start from the top right now. And they didn't want to be on camera. So I told them that we wouldn't disclose their names and we would keep them confidential. Yep, no okay. problem. Thank you. Yes, if you want to be a confidential informant and want to come down and talk to us, yeah, or, we, you, yeah, we, we respect or you want to be on camera and you know anything about this, please come down right now to the corner of Welcome. So we got Welcome Road and Roosterville, Georgia, is where we're at right now. Car is, yes, the car is on land. Yes, the car is in, on land in the in the woods. Um, is it on a back road? It in the, it's in like a, kind of like a little driveway, offshoot driveway, not like a real driveway. Fly the drone, no, we're not flying the drone, it's illegal. Yep, 150 feet, you gotta stay back with the drone. We got this cool thing we're doing, it's called not getting arrested. Yes. Um, and they've also not moved us out, so, you know, we are under... I'm surprised there's not other media here. We are a long ways from every, anywhere, yeah, so... Yeah, we're the only media. We're, we're a long ways from a grocery yeah. store, a long ways from a restaurant. We're a long ways from... We're a long ways from a lot, a lot, yeah, of, things. A lot of things. I'm, I'm surprised that we even have cell phone service right now. Yeah, I got two bars. What do you got? Yeah, I don't even know. I'm not internet. Okay, so let's bring everybody up to, up to speed on where we're at. Natalie Jones. Natalie Jones, 27 years old, went missing July 4th of this year. Um, her, she left the party over in Jackson Gap, Alabama, around 10.30. About an hour, hour and 15 minutes later, a text goes out that says something to the effect of, I made it, thanks. Mm -hmm. By that, she lives with mom over in Cor Corinth, mm -hmm. Cor Corinth, 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 but mom says that she never came up the driveway and she never left the driveway that night. And we know that because we have spoken with mom and that will be in episode number one and that will be out to members uh, next week ish because Dan has a lot on his plate. After the cell phone text message who went out to a neighbor is who that went through. So it did not go to mom. It didn't go to a friend. It went to like a neighbor is who went to, I mean a friend, a neighbor friend is who that went to. Will you turn that down, please? Th thank you. It's a lot of feedback. Thank you. Um, at between 2.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. For, for a two or from 2 to 5.30 for a two to two and a half hour period, Natalie's cell phone was hitting off multiple cell phone towers up and around Ephesus. I said that right. Yes. So Ephesus, Georgia. And so that's where we have been coordinating our search. And it's a small town. We walked into the gas station last night and like, you ain't from around here, are you? But the moment they heard who we are and what we were doing, like things spread like wildfire quick. Like before we even walked out of the store, there were phone calls coming in and like, stay off my land is we ended up with some of those. But then you we ain't also, from around here, are you boys? But then we also ended up with a, hey, please come check my pond. You know, Switch, it switched real quick. It did. So really grateful to the small town community. Yes. We ended up meeting with uh, two officers this morning. One is the detective that's been on the case, as well as another deputy. And the pastor, good dude. And, yeah, and as well as the pastor. So we got a lot of information there. And we, we've gotten a lot of good information from confidential informants, a lot of uh, information from locals and the locals believe a few things they don't believe that this was an accident okay so that's where we're at on this because there's an ex-boyfriend who the night of had an ankle monitor on the ankle monitor went haywire for a couple of hours five hours mm -hmm. is the story all theory we have no evidence or proof okay we're only sharing the information we are yeah. messengers only the boyfriend 
or the ex-boyfriend is currently in jail now. I don't know if his profile, no, he, the reason why he's in jail is because he was caught trying to solicit and hire a hitman. The hitman that he was trying to, trying to hire. Um, here comes map and name of owner. Okay. Um, I, and, and I appreciate you sending me text messages. I can't see any images. I can only read like the first line that you're sending me because you're sending me like a private message on there. Um, so I'm not going to be able to see any of those. Um, I don't know how to get you in touch with Sam or Dan, but right now I, I can't look at those. But I appreciate. Uh, Come to my um, go to my Facebook, Sam Sam the Adventure Man, Sam Sam the Adventure Man. If you need to contact uh, contact us right now during the live, um, I'll be able to look that up and we can call you. It's one of the people that Jared's trying to get a hold of. Okay. Sam Sam the Adventure Man on Facebook. Contact us there. So a, a lot of uh, you know confidential informants have really been you know really helpful sending us here 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 and here and also hey. Here's where the last cell phone ping was at. And you know what? What? The last cell phone ping from Ephesus and where this location is at is very near, I'm going to say within 500 yards. It, oh, dude, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 500 yards? Roughly. Ish? Ish. Ish is where we're at. All right. I mean, it, it could, maybe it could be a mile. I don't know. I haven't looked at the exact map. As to but where super it's close. Yeah, I don't know. So somebody jump on and just do a like a from Ephesus four to four point two miles. Do a radius as to where we're at. We're on the corner of Welcome Road and Roosterville Road. See how far that is from the center of Ephesus. Which, by the way, you're not going to be able to find any salad. Just, just got that's fine. Just got this map from somebody. Oh, oh that oh that's where we're currently at. So yeah. that's that's the property right there. There's the property. So yeah, so anybody can look that up on Google right now as far as uh, the location where we're actually at as well. You can look down Thank and you. see. Yeah, right, and I'm getting a flood of messages all of a sudden, so bear with me as I try to try to keep up with it. Yep. Um, and so that brings us to today as we're out doing our search. We get a phone call from one of our people. Um, I am with We can't figure out what's going on. Did you all find the pink car? Uh, me as a news reporter, do I need to come out? Yes, you need to come out come right on now. Out. Yes, you need to be here. You need to come out right now. We have Jenna Odin. Come on, Jenna. I have spoken with mom. That's what you need to know. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we have the. Oh, uh, I missed here. Yes, yeah, so we have the news coming out. All right, news will be here shortly. Yep. She all right on their way. Yes. Uh, yes. If if you are a news organization of any sort, as much as we would love to have the exclusive, and that we are the only ones on this. Yep. Again, that's not who we are. We are here to share all the information and knowledge. We're welcoming all of it because this is a public road. Come on out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, any news agency. We are, the, the sheriff asked that we don't put things out there on social media, but I do apologize because we are media and we are bringing you this information live. It's a small town and people are going to know right away. They also did say... The sheriff did also say. Um, so the um, sheriff did say we don't want this getting out until we notify next of kin. He did not say who next of kin is, mm -mm. but what I do know is is that there have been sheriff now over at mom's house who have now left mom's house. So I hope that that brings everybody up to speed. And again, and again, I'm getting a flood of messages right now, so my apologies if I can't keep up with it. I'm glad that you're getting messages there. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, a couple of uh, thank yous and shout outs also. We have Tammy Hargis, who has become a part of the team. Uh, by becoming a part of the team, or an air sponsor, or a gear sponsor, or a philanthropist, what we uh, do for you is we do give you these videos, not this, not not the lives early, but we're, the videos that we created, like. For instance, we've been out here for two days. There's going to be a two-part episode on this one as to our search on Natalie. Um, you have Nicholas that is coming out. You'll get that video uh, a day or two early. We have, um, who else is coming out? Kokomo. We have yeah. Karina and Kokomo. Karina. You're going to get that video before everybody else as our way of saying thank you very much for being a financial supporter and us being out here on the road to do what we can to Really, this whole thing started as just cleaning up the environment, picking you know cars up off the bottom of rivers and lakes and getting the oil and gas out of the environment to us running into um, 
you know, accidentally sometimes running into lost loved ones, as well as now this has really turned into a mission to serve. Yes. Uh, it's with, all, it's with all this about 20, ser- with this, all about serving. With this 2020 trip, mm-hmm. and with this 2020 trip, we we kind of joke that we've only done a little bit of diving, and it was really just to find Nick uh, Nicholas Allen. We hope to do a lot more diving, so we can actually go find some cars as well, because we are missing the the fun side of all of it. The the treasure hunt every day is fun for us, okay? And bringing and helping families and helping solve something for the family also. Um, is the serving side of it to jump in here. I'm a, I'm a loss for words, and you're amazing with words right now for what it is I'm trying to express. He's, I, I, I'm, I was answering questions. Yes. I didn't know what were you tell, talking about right now. Yes, Be, being out here and serving, and, and that what this what this 2020 road trip oh. really means. We started this on yeah. September 20th. Here we are, 16 days into it. We have another 24 four to 25 more days yes, to yes, go yes. on this 2020 mission across the U.S. to clean up the environment, but also we have five or six more cold cases that we're working on. Yeah, so for me, you know, what this trip is, you know, it's um, it's about, you know, spending time with my brother Jared and just uh, serving together. You know, it's nice to be with a like-minded person that likes to do good in the community. Um, he and I, we both, you know, our schedules, we don't have regular jobs, so we're able to actually go out and do these things. And so I just, you know, for me, it's just, uh, you know, us loving other people and just teaming up. Um, you know, you're, you're stronger, you know, when you're with somebody and, you know, we, we definitely uh, play off each other and we strengthen each other. And so it's just, you know, just us getting out on the road and trying to help as many people as we can. So. Um, and uh, personally, uh, you know, what, what do I take from it is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you look back and you're just like, and it's really humbled, humbling. You just, I don't know, it just, it, just, it just feeds your heart and fuels your energy like you wouldn't believe when you help another person. I, I thoroughly believe the best way to, uh, let's say if you have depression or you're feeling down, the best way to get over that is to help somebody else. And, um, and even if you're happy to begin with, and just to add more happiness, the best way to add more happiness is to help someone else. And so here we are, we're on the road trying to help as many people as we can, but also in that, enjoying each other's company, enjoying time with Dan. Um, you know, we're just just out here, you know, just living. You know, we're, we're living, we're helping, we're enjoying, we're smiling, we're eating, we're, you know, we're just, uh, just you know, just, yeah, just just growing and loving. So that's what we're doing. I'm glad you're out here with me. Yeah, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad really, really enjoying your company out here as well as Dan. Dan yeah, 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 Dan's awesome. Yeah, he, Dan is an impressive young man. I know that we're, we joke about him, you guys see him, but real deal, he is super impressive. I am he, he's the he's the type of young man that if you have a daughter, yes. you would want this individual to date your daughter. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. However, he, that's he's taken. not he is taken. So that is not going to happen, yep, but I'm saying that this is an incredible young man that has a bright future ahead of him. We are very lucky to have yes. Dan on this road trip with us. And we don't know, you know, Dan could be with us for a year. He could be with us for two years. But he's kind of also already indicated he has bigger plans than hanging yeah. out with us forever. But we have kind of, you know, half-jokingly committed to, even if we all go our separate ways, every year this needs to be like a 45-day road trip that we grow old together going across the U.S. during this time of year every year to see how many cold cases we can solve. We're gonna Absolutely. clean up some cars along the way as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 cool. we're still scuba divers. Yeah. We're we still getting the water. <laughs> In we... fact, that's our main focus. So, so please don't start sending us like, hey, there's a lost person here. Like, only send us, uh, honestly, please, only send us, our specialty is underwater, pulling cars up, scuba diving. But if we solve cases along the way, then so be it. Yes, but please only send us things that are focused on people that are missing in their car and the car is missing, and the person is missing. That's what we're really interested in. What was the last cell phone ping? Where can we start looking? And you know, so, and most, I'm not gonna say most of them, a lot of them are accidents. Some of them are not accidents. Right now, we don't have confirmation one way or the other whether foul play was involved or not on this one. There's gonna be you know, a lot of speculation right now until they have the actual uh, police reports on it. Eventually, you know, people will know. Um, just as a reminder also, you know, we are on the road. This is uh, all out of our pocket. And so the donations that, you know, come in from all of you 
from becoming a member uh, from your direct donations, direct donations on Super Chat here, or PayPal, or Venmo, 100%. We use them for this purpose uh, so we can continue mm -hmm. to, to serve. So we appreciate each and every one of you. Also, any likes, thumbs ups, uh, make sure, I mean, there's 4,800 of you on here right now. We're at 2,400 likes right now. If you've not yet hit the thumbs up button, please, please smash that right now. Let's see if we can put another thousand likes on there in the next like five minutes. Just bump that number up over 3,000, get it to 3,500 if you can. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. I'm going to thank a few people here uh, right now as we're waiting for some more action to happen behind us. Uh, we do have a few more uh, donations that have come in. We have a donation from... I can't even say your name, so I apologize. It's a $30 donation, but I'll read what it is that you said. You said, Kalani Rain. You are all doing a good thing, and it's so sweet of all of you to take the time out of you guys' personal time to help families. I started watching your videos a few months ago, and I've been hooked since. Keep doing what you do. Thank you very much. And uh, and it's not just out here, uh, you know, us out here. So our families back home who are sacrificing, who are missing us. As we're on the road for 45 days, Sam's boy is actually going to be uh, joining yep. us. Yeah, Kyler. Yeah, my son Kyler is going to be joining. Too. Sam has uh, two other kids that are 11 and 13. So um, at this point, in, in, at this point, because we're out here serving, we are giving up some uh, family time as well. So please understand that as well. And, you know, with your support, we really appreciate it. Uh, I have a wife of 25 years, incredible wife, uh, Kristen, as well as my girls, and so they're at home right now. Uh, without us, we got another sheriff showing up. This is a from a different uh, county. So this sheriff is from Carroll County, is where they're from. Uh, he might just be driving by. Let's find out. Yeah, he might just be checking things out. Maybe he's not even allowed in the crime scene. He doesn't have his light on, so he's not. So we're in Heard County, is where we're at. He's not even stopping. He's just driving by. Yeah, yeah he's going he, to work. He might. Yeah, he might just live here and going to work. Um. So thank you, thank you to the families, um, everybody. That, that so many people are part of this. Um, all right, we have a two hundred dollar donation from Frederick. Thank you very thank you Frederick. for that. We have a ten dollar no donation from Calcum Cal Calum Calum C. Calum C. Calum C. Um, we have a keep up the good work. Uh, look after yourselves. Callum, the Scot the Scottish sonar guy. So he has does sonar work. Scottish hey, if, sonar if you dude. have any, so since you're doing sonar over there in Scotland, I'm guessing that's where Scott. Yeah, that's Scotland where, is. Yeah. Yes. You said you guessed that Scotland's in Scotland. I'm guessing that. Um, that's, that's a good guess. If you have anything underwater over there, start mapping it out for us because I would love for us to start taking this on the road as well across it when the world opens up again, and let's go see what types of cold cases we can solve. Yeah, after, after, yep, after the world's open, we want to we want to go international. Yeah. And we definitely have a lot to do here at home, but we also would like to come and, and help internationally as well. We also semi have a plan also for this to really become a like, like, like a, a thing, a, a platform. Well, not just us, uh -huh. that we the, form uh, the adventures yeah. with purpose, and you know chapters, you know around the world, you know and regions. That it's not just Sam and I. Are we allowed to say that? Uh, no, we're not allowed to say okay. that. Um, you know, chapters around the world. Because Sam and I being out here, a lot of this is not scuba diving. A lot of it is boots on the ground, the Scout inflatable, the little boat that we have, and the sonar that's on it. I mean, if you have the ability and you want to find your purpose in life, you know, become a part of Adventures with Purpose, I think is the platform that we're going to put together. So. Instead of you texting me and me having to go in and map out where you're at and, you know, for, for helpers, for tow trucks, for, you know, just being involved, I think that we really need to create a platform this holiday season, and I would love to launch it by January 1. I think that needs to be our goal. Like, you guys are on board. Like, say, yeah, yeah, we're all on board. Um, because you as a volunteer in your area, if you're just boots on the ground, if you can just bring water to somebody, if there's a search going on, that's we really need a good platform giving people purpose. And, and you know, we have a lot of, I think we have a news chopper on this way. You hear that? Yeah, I hear that's, that. That's why you're not allowed to fly drones also, because they have choppers and stuff coming in. But it sounds like we might have a news chopper coming in right now. Um, so anyway, so the platform. So I think that I, 
is I need to focus on that this holiday season and create an Inventions with Purpose platform. Do you guys all agree? Are you like, yeah, that would be an incredible idea? Or so, like, yeah, yeah that sounds like idea. a chopper coming right above us. Yep. That's absolutely what that is. Yep. So we got a chopper. It should be coming over the skyline in just a moment. Um, uh, okay. Yep, I got that. Um, let's see. Let's see if this is a news chopper that's coming overhead here. Yeah, that's a news chopper there. Fox Atlanta wants your number. Fox Atlanta wants my number? Yeah, t tell Fox Atlanta to get a hold of Fox Atlanta, uh, Sam Sam the Adventure Man. Yeah, t yeah, tell them I'm on my phone doing a live stream right now. Yeah, Fox um, Atlanta, check out Sam Sam the Adventure Man on Facebook. Wait, no, it's Jeremy. So, Jeremy, do you have, let me ask Jeremy, J Jer Jeremy, do you have um, Sam's number? Or do you know how to get hold of... Uh, yeah, so, yeah uh, Jeremy, reach uh, Sam Sam the Adventure Man on Facebook. What, I'll, I'll watch for you. Well, or get a hold of, uh, or get a hold of uh, Chaos also. Yeah, or K K Chaos it. Divers, he might be better. Yep. E either way, reach out. Yep. Be right back. Okay. Um, where else do we want to take this uh, right now? Oh, so I wanted to say uh, thank you uh, to a few more of you. So we have Don Adam. And if I miss anybody that's donated, I apologize. If I miss anybody that's become a new uh, team member, I apologize as well. But you guys have no idea what this means to us that it puts us out here on the road. It's going to help fund, you know, a, a, a better, you know, cell phone booster, uh, scanners for us, uh, a better trailer just everything that it takes for us to come out but also for us to start putting together this um you know platform i think that would be an incredible idea it sounds like you guys really think that it'd be a good idea that we create an adventures with purpose platform that gives purpose to getting out and you know helping out communities like this because most of this that took place for the last two days we we didn't even get in the water so this is something that you guys could be out here uh, doing as well um, thank you, Matt Moss, for uh, for that. Uh, let me say thank you to a few more people. Uh, Tara uh, Hacks, thank you for becoming a part of the team. Uh, if I mess this up, uh, Jekyll, Jekyll, Jekyll. I, if you watch my show at all, you know that I butcher names and pronunciations of anything. So thank you for becoming part of the uh, team. We have a Shelly Doyle. Thank you for becoming an air sponsor. Uh, Jay. Mick Lehman, thank you for uh, becoming a member as well. We have Teacher 2010, $5 donation. Thank you very much. We have a uh, Al Alyssa Roth. I have a link on an update. If you want it, please let me know. I don't know what you mean by that, Alyssa. So uh, uh, if you somehow you can get me a message on that one, let me know. We have almost 5,000 people on right now watching what's happening here right now with uh, the potential finding of... Natalie Jones. Um, in fact, um, I guess at this point, uh, we just received official confirmation that we have a pink car over there. So we can say that we officially have a pink car. Isn't that right, Sam? Yes. We cannot say whether there are human remains inside of it, nor can we confirm nor deny currently that Natalie Jones is inside. So right now, that's where we're, that's where we're at right now. And again, I'm getting a big flood of messages, and right now we're looking for Jeremy and a few other people we're trying to communicate. So my apologies if I'm not able to answer you right away. Sam is Sam is They're not just Sam is not being rude. No, so. I don't mean to be rude. We're he, just trying to stay he's not, on task. He's so not, he's not if it takes soldier. me, yeah, if it takes me a while to get back to you, my apologies. Yep, uh, Vicky, thank you very much for uh, becoming a part of the team as well. Um, we have in the description down below, there's also a PayPal link. So if for some reason you would like to participate and become a part of the the team and. Um, or for a donation, we really appreciate that. Definitely goes to a good use. The um, let me go through some of these questions also now and answer more of those. There's um, here, I'm, I'm gonna lean this way a little bit, Sam. Yeah, you, so you, that, sure you don't want to do the tripod thing? No, I because I can't scroll at the same time that I'm doing that. So I'll kind of keep you in the shot as I'm going through some of these questions here. Great. So we have uh, just hit three thousand likes thank you for that uh tara for the three thousand likes and uh keep me updated on that one yes we have almost five thousand people on right now with us being out here it really helps if you hit the thumbs up you share this uh we're at three thousand right now do everything we can right now push it to four thousand or so um oh hey this is this number get this number see that right now that's it 
That's the number I just got. They just got in touch with me. Okay, so you're good. Yeah. So they, uh, so Fox Five TV Atlanta, um, they're heading our way right now. It will take us a while. Can you talk? So what? Is, read the rest of it. Oh, I can't read the rest of it. Uh, text. Find out what the rest of it is that she said because right. I can't. I can only see the first two lines. So they would like to have. It says, some... um, yeah, hi Sam. This is uh, Fox Atlanta Five. You said reach out on Facebook. I'm trying to get contact number for one of you to give me a report. Um, here's my number. I got the number. She she wanted us to talk about something else. Say so. Say Jared saw your message come across. You can only see the first two lines. Talk about what? So what what is she? Yeah. What... So, yeah. So you message Jared. Well, I can I can call her. Yeah. Yeah. Did you call, call her? Call find her. out what else uh, she would like to know right now. Um. Let's go with uh, which lake was it? Uh, are they at the quarry? No, we're not at the quarry. Is this near the suspect that lives in uh, Euphesus? Yes, this is, I believe, near that location. Hey, this is Sending love to the family. Uh, trail cams, you were meant to be there for a reason. Listen, I haven't teared up until now, but Nadine Miller, yeah, yeah. I'm just, just reading this. I mean, it just says you were meant to be there for a reason. They should have known and searched all over by now, especially since it's such a small town and where the cell phone pinged. Not only that, Nadine, but but where the car is actually at? I mean, come on now. It's right off of like a semi-main road right here. I mean, it's just right here, so. Yes, okay. they should. They should have found it long before now. Was the car in oh, hiding? Don't, 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 don't. Was it in don't, don't, a storage don't, don't, unit? Is that uh, is that part of a rumor? Like, did it sit in a storage unit until yesterday, and it was put here last night, after Sam and I hit town and we started ruffling some feathers? I have absolutely, I have absolutely no idea. So let me uh, read a few more uh, um, comments here. Um, is, I don't know if Chaos Divers is still in here. Tara, uh, let me do this for you, Tara. I really like you. I'm going to make you a moderator. So please only um, be very, very careful as to anything that you do, Phil. We don't allow like p political stuff and, and uh, stuff like that. I mean, we're here to stay on task. So, Tara, you are now a moderator. Thank you for uh, your support. Um, so yes, you now have the ability to approve any comments that somebody else might put in as well as um, links um, For anything we have going on important. We do have shirts available. The link is in the uh, description down below so Buying a shirt is $20 for a shirt. It helps our cause. So please um, pick up a shirt for sure We also have stickers available. Um, I don't have any that I can show you right now, but we have stickers available There's a link in the description as well below so Chaos or Nug or Tara, please go ahead and drop uh, those links uh, in the chat right here. I'll read some more uh, questions here. Uh, Rich Discoveries, it's uh, not much, but uh, God bless. Thank you very much, a $5 donation. We have, has become a part of the team. We have uh, Michael McDaniel, a $20 donation. Yeah, and then a five is on the way. That's like two hours away, isn't uh, it? She said she's uh, 67 miles away. 67 miles away. And so. I kind of think they're going to do the Veil of Darkness thing to try to pull that out. In the darkness yeah that's my opinion we have uh daniel huffman has become a uh, air sponsor uh and so with that if you if you become a part of the team a air sponsor a gear sponsor or a philanthropist um not only are you helping us but it, the way that the youtube system works it also lets us provide videos to you early before they're released to the general public so because you're a part of the team that's the way that we say thank you so thank you very much and if you're not a part of the team please don't be upset that some people are getting a video before you just please understand that they are opening up their wallets and saying thank you that way for what we're doing and that's just that's like the only way that we have the ability to give back and say thank you so um, the videos every video that we shoot will be available to the public we don't keep anything exclusive we may keep things exclusive for you know a little by a while but you will eventually get those videos so thank you everybody for uh, being here thank you uh oh this kaluna kalani i can never get that right i see you quite often i'm sensing that you're from hawaii aloha from maui yep um just call me terry ann oh that's a lot easier terry, terry ann. ann hey terry ann. thank you terry ed um it's funny having you try to say my name blessings to you all continue doing what you do so yes, uh, 
thank, thank you, thank you very much for your support. I see you on here quite often. Incredible uh, sponsor and uh, supporter of ours with donations here and there. They have a Wi-Fi uh, booster on there. I wonder what kind of a cell booster they have on their car. Because I'm guessing that we bought like a, a cheap version. We have the Wii Boost. I don't know, it's like a 4GX or something. So if anybody has any information on what the best uh, cell phone boosters are out there, we should probably pick one up yeah. or two up. I also heard and send information my way. Somebody else needs to do research because I'm just so busy. If you guys have any um, uh, additional information, I've told that there's additional, not just the Wi-Fi booster, but we can also shoot it like, you know, 150 feet around the RV so we're not oh, having really? to just, hang just, out. Just be right next to it. Yeah, because right now we're like... Yeah, pretty much tethered. Yeah, pretty much tethered yeah, to we the small area. Yeah, we have like the little... So we have the antenna there and then we have like the little booster that we carry around that we try to stay within five feet of. So anyway, we do need to continue to upgrade our gear for sure. And it's because of you and your donations that uh, really help us out here. Uh, we have some new, new members. Thank you very much, Emily, for becoming a part of the team. We have Tyler, part of the team. Thank you very much. Uh, the Scout Fam upgraded their membership to Philanthropist. The Scout Fam has been incredible. They're wondering if they could use any of the live footage. Did she happen to ask you about any video you guys shot, Mayo shot? You guys are welcome to, and any news organization out there, you can use whatever footage we have out there. Um, yeah, we're not here to keep anything. We're, no, we're no, here to, no, no, we're, we're here to keep people informed and keep the ball rolling. Yes, so please share whatever it is that we have online, whether it's the live, whether it's, you know, past videos we've done, any logos, any names that, you know, feel free to please. Uh, we, we do want to share that information with everybody. So uh, we're not out here to play, you know, hey, exclusive Cowboys only. We're yeah. just out here to, we don't even care if we're the breaking news. We're just out here to help out and, and again i'm getting a flood of messages guys right now i'm only picking the ones that are pertinent to what we're doing at this moment yeah um let's see we have emily lavender thank you part of the team did i already say her name i'm not sure and if i'm missing anybody um i do apologize oh where i was at i was the scout fam the scout fam has upgraded to a philanthropist thank you very much i've seen you do a you know onesie twosie donations here and there and that really, you know, you being here and helping us out really means the world to us. So you guys know what it means to us. The, I think that's the tow truck. You think that's the tow truck? All right. Not the tow truck. Yeah, definitely not the tow truck. Yeah, I thought it was the tow truck. I thought I was back in Lakewood. <laughs> Lakewood, Washington. <laughs> Very much it's a tow Tacoma. Truck. No, that's not a tow truck, they said. I was like, geez. Yeah. <laughs> they said that's a show off. Uh, let's see. Uh, additional. Uh, Edward, thank you. A $10 donation. So thank you for that. Oh, we have a lot of new members. Holy moly, I'm never going to get through all these. I really appreciate it. Flood of messages. Everyone. Josh, thank you. I'm going to go through these fast. Drama, drama must. Thank you very much uh, for becoming a member. Zubra, thank you for becoming a member. As you guys know, I put your name all the time. Jennifer, an air sponsor, thank you very much. Donation from Tyler uh, says, have Dan called Jeremy exploring with Nug is that asking. Do you have Doug's phone number? I don't have, I don't have Doug's phone number. Does, do you have, do you have Jacob's number? Yeah, Jacob's number. Jacob has Nug's phone number, right? Yeah, uh, fi find that out. We need to get a hold of Nug. Dan needs to call Nug. Um, Ten dollar donation from Don Adams. Please read my previous message. It will uh, help in the future. Jacob, I don't know what your you previous message me was. Number? Um, so I apologize because messages think I have Nug's go number. through. All right, no problem, bro. Well, you're gonna have to figure that out. Um, Atlanta Five wants. Yeah, we're already in touch. Yeah, with yeah, them. yeah. I've, I've talked to Atlanta Upgraded Five. Upgraded membership. Yeah, all, yeah I talked okay. to the news. This is this so is getting cool, out of bro. hand. So, um, all right, later. Wesley, thank right. you very much. Upgraded the gear sponsor. We have Megan. I wish I could help more. Thank you for what you do and the families. My adopted brother drowned. Megan, I'm sorry about that. What um, happened? Megan's uh, brother had drowned. She wishes she could oh, do more. Man. She donated $5 this evening. That's terrible. Um, without people like you, uh, you know, we they have never they would have never found him. So thank wow. you very much for... Uh, yeah, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, spay and neuter has become a part of the team. And we also have Karen is now a part of the team as well. Um, somebody needs to call Nug. I don't know what's going on with Nug. Nug, get a hold of Chaos. Chaos, get a hold of Nug. 
I'm going to uh, Nug, uh, reach Sam, Sam the Adventure Man. Send me a message so we can get your phone number. Nug. What are you on? On Facebook? Is that how they? Yeah, on Facebook. On, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, on okay, Facebook. that's what I was confused. Yeah. I thought so you were sending them all to YouTube. So Sam, Sam the Adventure Man on Facebook. If you need to drop any phone numbers right now and you need us to get a hold of you, do everything through through Sam right now, okay? And again, I'm not able to respond to everybody. I'm getting a flood of messages. I'm just responding to the ones that are pertinent for what we have going on at the moment. So I'm not trying to be rude. Um, my apologies on that. Yep. Uh, Big Pimpin, PD found car. Um, well, PD did not find the car. PD responded after the car was found. So it came across. Like, Is this this Nug? I have no. Oh yeah, that's Nug. Nug, I'll call him. Yeah. All right. um, so it came across across the police scanner. That's how I found out about it because we were searching a pond that was only about two miles away. So we are not uh, staking claim that we found Natalie. We are only saying that we may have ruffled a few feathers or it just brought new light to Natalie because it's a small community. They found out that we were in town, and the day after we did the live last night and the day after. Today. Hey Jeremy, how's it going, brother? Here we are. Uh, is, is that hey, just one second. The vehicle... uh, so Jared, do you want to talk to Nug? Move the oh, they say move the antennas apart. Yeah, just one second. How far apart do the antennas need to be? I mean, I can't go that far. I don't you know. Yeah, talk to Nug. I don't know or... what to do. Yeah, why don't you talk to everybody and answer some more questions? I gotta go use talk. the. Uh, yeah, you go. I gotta use the restroom as well. All right, so I think like nine percent on my phone, but yeah, okay. go go do what you do. All right, guys, real quick update once again for those of you who have just tuned in. Um, we Earlier today, we were searching a pond for Natalie Jones. During that time, we received information that a pink car, which we were looking for a pink car, a pink car was found right back here. We heard it on the police scanner. We quickly loaded up our boat, and we came scurrying over here as fast as we could to see what's going on. Now, the neighbors say that they haven't noticed a police car or a pink car, and they think that this would have been placed there within the last 48 hours. I don't know how true that is, one way or the other. Um, let me just give me just a second here. I'm getting a Jared's phone's freaking out. Anyway, I don't know how true that is, one way or the other. But um, what I do know is, and what I can tell you, is that the mother has been contacted. Natalie Jones' mother has been contacted by the police. The police went to her home and they left. And so in my mind, I'm pretty good at math. I think you guys are too. So here we are just waiting to see what happens. And my thought is um, either us being here in this very small community where news travels fast, either shed some light back on it, or perhaps somebody read into the story and maybe they realized that, oh yeah, I'm looking for a pink car. Maybe they're driving by like, oh, there's a pink car. Or perhaps, us being here kind of, you know, flushed them out to where the fact that, oh no, we're going to get busted. Let's dump this car. Anyway, either way, uh, the report is that there's a pink car back there and a lot of police are here, a lot of police activity, and we're just hanging out waiting to see what happens. And again, thank you guys for all your support, all you guys, you know, your donations, you guys keeping us moving, uh, keeping fuel in the gas tank. You're greatly appreciated. Right now, Jared is on the phone um, getting some information. He'll be back here shortly. Looks like Dan actually walked down the street and he's coming back. He kind of has a purposeful walk at the moment. Uh, maybe he was able to, to see. How do you buy t-shirts? Um, Jacob, put up a link. I'm really not sure how to buy t-shirts. I can honestly say that I, <laughs> I, I get mine for free. <laughs> so thank you guys. I'm not sure how to get that. What, what, what are you seeing? You see anything? Some news people are over there? Okay, uh, what what makes you think they're news? White cars. There's white cars show white car, fancy looking white cars showing up. See any camera equipment? No, they had, they had like okay, they got like polos and things. Uh, yeah. yeah, so so Dan just came over. He's thinking that some news is showing up. I just got off the phone with the reporter from Atlanta Five. Um, she's on her way. She should be here maybe about 45 minutes to an hour. In my opinion, let me move this here so you guys can see, is I kind of think that they're going to be trying to do this in the veil of darkness. If she is back there, or if the vehicle is back there, they're probably going to wait until it's dark and then pull her out, or pull the vehicle out, rather. But the tow truck's going to have to go one way or the another, and we are going to see whether or not it's pink. We're going to be able to see the make, make and the model. It's supposed to be a pink Cavalier that Natalie Jones was driving. That was her car. 
Um, anyway, so yeah, it's kind of a uh, kind of wild day. We just definitely had a wild day. It was, it was it just blew my mind. I was actually in the boat doing the, running the sonar when Jared said, "Hey Sam, we just got a call that a uh, pink car has been found over the police scanner." So I was just just blown away by the whole thing that we're that we're either that we're here searching for her when she was found, or perhaps us being here led people to further look into the case, look into the story, to where they notice, oh wow, there's a pink car. Either either way, um, this is definitely a big buzz in the community. There's a lot of people driving by. Um, it's kind of a, just a just a wild wild day. Uh, earlier there was about probably about nine police cars over there earlier today. Now, uh, most of the police cars have either left or gone into the property. Still no tow truck. We're waiting to see the tow truck. Um, haven't, I haven't noticed any vehicle that was necessarily a coroner's vehicle. But then again, that could be any vehicle. I did see a Suburban go in on the property. Um, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, ask away. No drones. Yes, we will not be showing any drones. This is, at this point, a crime scene. Um, first off, it's illegal, and it's also, in my opinion, disrespectful to the family, um, and we're not going to be doing that. Uh, I definitely want to show the utmost respect to the family and anyone involved, just in case this is Natalie Jones. Uh, we have spoken with her mother, uh, Jared. Jared uh, spoke to with her mother just a little bit ago um, and said that the police had stopped by her house, that they had just left. So that's the information I can give you. Um, the police were visiting the mom, they left. We have a pink car coming across the scanner, the police scanner on uh, this property right behind me that showed up. And so, although we can't 100% um, positive, oh, it looks, like they're, it looks like they're driving by right now. So when they drive by, they'll come back and give us a report. So Dan's in the car right now with Sherry and uh, that truck that just went by. So hopefully they can peek on the property and kind of see what's going on. And again, we don't have any we don't have any 100% confirmation, but we are here to show you what we see. Um, and so yeah, just a just a wild day. Sorry, let's see, let's see some of the messages. Anyway, do you guys have any questions? And again, thank you guys for all of your concerns. Why are they going to do it in the dark? Um, because they don't want us to see. That's why. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but a few days ago, with our, when we found Nicholas Allen, we found Nicholas Allen in a. Uh, we found him, he's been confirmed that yes, that was Nicol Nicholas Allen. They kind of waited until it got dark to you know start to do things. Um, so, what's that? Uh, they found a suspicious car that they think might be connected to a missing person. Yeah, we have neighbors and stuff that are starting to drive by. People are just asking questions. I mean, it is quite a scene right now. Uh, we have police and, hey, people are waving. Uh, Anyway, so again, if you're just tuning in, earlier today we were searching for Natalie Jones. We were scanning a pond. She was, her vehicle was pink. It was a pink Cavalier. It came across the police scanner while we were searching the pond that a pink vehicle has been spotted on this property back there. There's not a whole lot of pink uh, vehicles riding around. I don't see pink vehicles very often. And so we're thinking that either we perhaps, us being here in this small town where news gets around fast, either we flushed her out or perhaps we, Re, perhaps the right person got the information. Maybe they looked into the case, maybe they looked into the story. And because of that, they knew to look, look for a pink vehicle, or once they saw a pink vehicle, it tipped them out. I'm gonna flip this around. It looks like we have, uh, here comes Jared, Jared's coming up, but also it looks like there's some kind of reporter coming up. He just got, he has, so in case you guys wanna know what a reporter looks like, this guy here has the classic reporter look. Is that what a reporter looks like? That is exactly what a reporter looks like. You're. Oh. Your, your reporter? Yes. Who, are who are you with? The Grange Daily News. Real cool, man. Anyway, that's that's what they look like. Just like that. Every every time. Say again. Uh, they told us to stay here. Is what they told us. And then uh, we have no other information. I have spoken with mom. I'll leave it at that right now. So that's as much as I can say. But if you need anything from us, uh, let us know. It's like Jared brought us some snacks. Oh, you unplugged us from power. Uh oh, let's plug back in. Yes, I did bring us snacks because I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, Jared's getting hangry. You can keep talking though. Yeah, good. 
Yeah, I'm starting to get more comfortable with this talking thing. So, yeah, talking. Uh, I'm going to talk, talk a few bikes and then. Yeah, you go ahead and jump I'll in. Let you take a few bikes. Anyway, so now we have um, these are Lagrange Daily News. Is Lagrange, that who that is? Yep, Lagrange. Daily yeah, so we have the reporter from Lagrange Daily News who just uh, showed up. Lagrange is, I think, about twenty to thirty minutes from here. I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure how far it is. 20, 20, 30 minutes or so. And again, some of you guys right now are sending over messages to Sam Sam the Adventure Man on Facebook. It'll take me a long time to answer that. I'm getting a huge flood. I'm trying to pick the ones that are pertinent to the case and what we're dealing with. No disrespect. Um, I love you guys and we all love your support. We just have to stay on task. And speaking of staying on task right now, we've not had, we kind of had like a semi-lunch. Yeah. We had a, we had a breakfast uh -huh. and then a like small lunch, but, and this is, we were supposed to be over having some venison venison this evening with um escobar yes is that his name yeah i think so escobar. i think so escobar and yeah and a fan got a hold of us he has a wonderful rack of venison we we're supposed to come by and enjoy it with him and but, um so that's going to be postponed we're still gonna so we have some chicken and yeah, we have some right now guacamole. right now we're just eating chicken and guacamole that's gonna get us through because um, right now we're this is where we need to be we need to be reporting we need to be recover or we need to be showing what's going on here i'm gonna, I'm gonna eat off camera do is that is what? But it just sound like yeah, like we, we dually, is what it yeah, like. yeah. We have a, a dual. Truck? We have a tow truck sound. No, just coming. A truck. Not just a big truck, or it could be this big truck over here. So right now we're just hanging out, waiting for the tow truck to come. I kind of think Jared that they're going to do the whole uh, wait for the veil of darkness thing. Well, I mean, but we're still going to be here. Oh yeah, we're, yeah, we're still, still going to be here, and the, and the tow truck's definitely going to have to go one way or the other. So one way or the another, we're going to get some answers. And again, the police did go visit Natalie's mom and they did leave her house. And so that's kind of a, you guys are pretty good at math. So. So I'm glad Jared's finally eating. He was kind of shaky today. It's just been a, just, yeah, we've been up since, what time did we start this morning? Nine o'clock. Yeah, we started at nine this morning. We, 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 start at we nine. searched about four to five bodies of water. And by starting, I mean that, that means that I get up really early to do my best to answer your comments and your emails on YouTube, on Facebook, private messages, emails. It's overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. Because then after we're done in the evening, from the moment we start cooking dinner for like the next four or five hours, mm -hmm. I stay up past midnight every single night trying to get to your comments and emails. And I appreciate every single one of them. It has really become overwhelming. I am not, I'm dedicating four to five hours a day outside of everything else that we're doing here, just on social and emails. And so if I don't get back to you, please understand, I'm exhausted, I'm beat. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're tired, we're hungry, you know, we're doing work. Um, it says, chew louder. Chew they, louder. They, it says, can you hear me? I'll, yeah, they I'll can hear you, it says, it says, Jared, your food sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> His food I'll, does I'll sound. I'll over here, I'll finish eating. All right, yeah, you finish eating over there, just save some for me. We, we still haven't seen the tow truck yet, but. Hopefully soon. Looks like my phone's blowing up right now with all kinds of messages. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Thank you for all the tips. Thank you for all the info. Uh, my apologies if I can't get to everything at, or even in a timely manner at this point. I, we're just, you know, just Jared and I, and it takes a lot of work to try to keep up. And here's the mom now. The mom just showed up. Right, Hi, mom. Mom, mom is here. You can go forward with this. So, and I'll talk to mom. All right. So hold this. Go forward. Let's, let's ask if she's comfortable being on camera. She might not yeah. want it right now. Yep. So we're gonna ask if she's yeah. So we're gonna ask if she's comfortable being on camera. Um, some people might not want to be. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang back and see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up and ask.
So I'm going with a no. She didn't answer, but I'm not gonna go over there until Jared gives me the signal. We need to give her some room. We need to give her some respect. Oh, wow. Yeah. Give me a moment. Okay, um, we're gonna go over here, and my apologies, I'm a little, uh, um, I don't even have the words right now. So you guys, we're just gonna stand over here on the side of the road for a minute and just look at the cops while we gain com uh, composure. Jeez. So, um, so thank you guys. Thank you for all your love, all your kind words. Thank you for your support. We wouldn't be out here able to do this without you. All your donations, everything. It, it, it's wild at this moment to think that us as a team with you guys, your financial support, we're able, hey, how's it going? we're able to perhaps flesh this out. Jeez, thank you. So thank you, thank you for your donations, thank you for your words of kindness. Dang. Anyway, we're gonna flip this back around so I can get some more composure. Thank you again. That, that person that just walked in, they very much had the, uh, that, that's a coroner vibe. So, Jared, you want to take over for a moment? Need to do what? Crackers for mom. All right, all right. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna get some snacks for mom. No, I'll keep it going. I'm gonna go up top. All right, guys, we're gonna go back up top. So yeah, this that's super wild. Just to think that you guys put us in this position with your guys' donations, with your financial help. This really is a teamwork, all of us. We volunteer our time so that we can be out, be out here looking for cases, looking for people trying to solve cases. And you guys have volunteered your money. So 100% this is a teamwork. I just, just thank you, thank you so much. So I'm gonna try to climb this ladder. Give me just a second. And, and mom is here. Um, it's not the time for her to be on camera. You know, here, here with Adventures with Purpose, Jared and myself, we are not into, you know, showing people uh, or putting cameras and faces at inappropriate times. And right now is not the appropriate time for mom. She needs her space. So I'll give you guys a recap here in just a minute. I'm getting comfortable in the chair. Man. That's freaking wild. It's just, it's just, just wild to be in this position. That you guys, you the viewers, put us here. So thank you. Flip this around. Wow. So once again, if you're just tuning in, uh, we've been searching for Natalie Jones. We've been looking through ponds, swamps, rivers actually checked out four to five bodies of water today during our as we were looking and doing sonar we got a call saying that somebody was listening to a police scanner they found a pink vehicle in this driveway or over here on this property there's not a whole lot of pink vehicles in the area and so we were thinking that hey this might be her we came cr cruising on out to see what was going on we reached out to mom mom said that the police had just left her house so I'm sure you guys are good at math. You guys kind of know what that means. 
What's, what's up, Jared? Let's go see. What, let's go see what Jared's saying. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reporters are there, so we can be there. So we're gonna try to move closer, guys. We got uh, reporters are, are snuggling in, so we're gonna snuggle in right behind them, underneath the report reporter claws. And I'm gonna try to, <laughs> I'm gonna try to climb down this here and carry you guys and not fall on my butt. All right, give me just a moment. We'll catch up with Jared. Here, Jared, can I hand this to you? Yep. Thanks, bro. Mm. So um, let me bring it this way. Um, just so everybody knows, mom has uh, confirmed uh, 100%. We do have car, we do have Natalie. So that is the uh, official right now. Hold on. Natalie too? Or just the car? Yeah. Natalie's in the car. The other thing, is it okay if we... Are, are you still... You're, I know you're Yeah, we'll eating. give you as much space yeah. as you need. Okay. Yeah, yeah just give her some. Yeah. So here's... Here's what has been reported, is this, that the it has been confirmed, If correct me if I'm wrong, that we do have, it has been confirmed that we have Natalie, we have the pink car. In addition to that, it has also been confirmed that this car was not here this morning. So us being here definitely flushed it out. Dude, that just makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. Yo, that's wild, bro. I wish y'all could have came a long time ago. I mean, this is today. What is today? Nine, two days. Nine, today's, today's, the, today's the six. So it's been three months and one day. Uh, three. And not a word, not even nothing. Three. Having the industry, they're to hang up on me. I'm just going to walk up there. Yeah, so, yeah, so they have the... They, evidently, they've allowed the reporters here. They've told them where they can stand, right there in front of the other police car. Well, so let's go, be, let's go be, be reporters. We're gonna go hang out with the reporters up there. We're gonna let you enjoy the cracker there. And um, when you're ready to come up, they're not gonna kick you out of here. So. All right, we'll be right back, okay? C come up if you can, okay? Whoa. Yeah, 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 the mom's here, but she she wants some space. Like, no, I understand. Yeah, yeah, give, give her I give her a little time. Understand. Okay, no, that's fine. You're Denise. No, I'm Jenna Eating with the Grange Daily. Okay, you guys are Grange Daily. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, real cool. Yeah, yeah, give her a little time. No, that's because I completely understand. And then obviously they're not saying anything. Yeah. No, no, they they can't. He, here's all that. Mom, uh, what I can tell you right now, mom has confirmed. 100%. Mom has spoken with the sheriff. Right. Um, also, what has also been relayed, the car was not there this morning. Okay. Mom's confirmed that Natalie was... Natalie in the car. Okay. Yep. So, okay. Natalie's in the car, car's there, car was not there this morning. Okay. And now Sam's freaking out. I'm just in shock, dude. Hitman is coming for you. I don't get Hitman coming for me. At least not for this. That's crazy. Did, like, they, uh, did they pull you away from the uh, crime scene tape, or did they tell you you had to stay on the other side of the road? What did they tell you? They just said we had to stay on the other side of the road because the traffic was slowing down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All so. right. All right. We'll uh, join you guys on the other side of the road because they, they did only allow us that far when we mm -hmm. first started. So they have not been very pleased that we were actually here in town recording and doing what we're doing. No, I understand. So. And you're going to be being on live because yeah. you're already yeah, on live. Fine. So yeah, you're fine. say hi to. Several thousand people the, right now. LaGrange News. LaGrange News. So 
Yeah, big, no. We've big, been, th big thumbs we've up for the engagement. Following this case very closely, so yeah. at least the family will finally get some answers. Yeah, absolutely. Which is the most important part. Yeah, um, definitely we, praying for a lot more right now. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move up here. Uh, yeah. If you want to hang out with uh, mom and yeah, I'll I'll hang with mom. Okay. Hang, hang with mom. mom. I'll, I'll go take care of this right now. I'll I'll bring everybody up here for a little bit as to what's going on. So that's the uh, that's the update that we have at the moment in time. We're going to see if we can sneak closer without getting in trouble because we've already gotten in trouble once or twice. Have you guys been able to um, spot the car in there? You can see it? I, I can confirm, but see that thing right through there? No. Come where I am? Okay. In between those two trees? Oh, that's up there? Yeah. That's where they're at? I, I, I can't. And they have it covered? No, it's not covered. You can see the top of the car. It looks kind of pink, too. Well, if we just walk up there a little bit more, and then you can see it up there. Yeah, I was thinking walking in there because then you get higher. Well, let's walk up the road a little bit here and see. So we're, we're trying to get eyes on the uh, scene for you guys. Right in, right in there. Oh, yep, there it is. Pink car right there, guys. 100%. There it is. That is the first official scene and sighting. Natalie's car, mom has confirmed it. I think PD is getting a little nervous. They're coming across the road again. Sir. Yes, sir. Can you please go back down the hill, sir? Absolutely, we can do so for you. Thank you sir. Yep. We'll, we'll all, be So, sir, so, sir uh, we were given permission from, from the landowner up here. Are you saying it's not okay to be on private property? Private property. Yes, sir. And we have spoke, also spoke with the uh, leaseholder. Not, not a problem. Okay, no problem. Just wanted to confirm with you. Thank you. Yes, we actually have mom on scene, so thank you, sir. Uh, there are more reporters showing up, so I can help. So, no, so, so, so I can help you when they show up. Where would you like me to keep them? Right at the RV. Yeah, because right now, the way they come around through, I don't want to get hurt. Okay? Absolutely. I will work with you and make sure I keep them down there for you. You're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. So we're currently being moved back away from the scene. We did uh, see the pink car officially. Dan has a nice uh, zoomed in shot that he'll have for you guys later on. We'll uh, make sure that all, all reporters and everybody else is aware of this as well. So they did say to stay down at the RV. So you guys are, uh, take that with whatever you guys want to do. So is it just us at the RV or is it, I mean, you guys heard, will they keep everybody back or is it just us they don't want up there? Yep. Oh no. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You are? Are you the one with the YouTube channel? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm Nathan Bradley. Nathan. I'm a storm chaser, meteorologist. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so hey. I'm here with one of the new, for one of the new stations. Uh, yes, it's, uh, we do have mom on scene. Uh, it has been 100% confirmed. Natalie's car, as well as Natalie. Also, it has also been reported to us that the vehicle was not there this morning. Yep. You're welcome. If you need anything else, let us know. Yep, you're welcome.
I'm I'm at a loss for words right now. Like I'm normally a talker. Yeah, I'm this this is absolutely wild. Uh, I mean just 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 the whole thing just it, it just blows my mind that we came here to do the search. And as we're in this small town, there's nothing going on, searching a pond, her car automatically shows up. So clearly us being here spooked somebody or it was on their conscience. Whatever it is, that I'm feeling like us just being here sparked something. We better leave the county tonight as well. And that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, do, I think. Yeah, I think we better dip. Oh, I don't know if they can hear you either, because um, you are behind. Yeah, I don't know if they can. Either. Yeah. But this is absolutely wild that us being here sparked something. Hey, we've been up and down these lines so many times. Well, I can't call you when I get back home. Um, do we have a carabiner front around somewhere? Can you grab a carabiner? So I can pass some that on me. We can keep some uh, power going here. Um, thank you everybody for uh, being here uh, this evening. We have a uh, mom is now on scene. Mom has uh, confirmed uh, with us 100% that yes, it is Natalie that is in the car. We have pos positive, positively identified or had seen the car. Um, so we uh, end up showing you. Full oh, they're gonna need to move. Can you pull forward over here by the RV? Yeah, pull, pull around by the RV. Hello. Uh, Mom is incredible. She's been incredibly strong. I need to find you a bigger carabiner. That's too small. Is it gonna break? Yeah. We'll go through yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. Oh, yeah, it does. It fits. Oh, good. Okay. I don't think it breaks the brakes either, but you're gonna have to do it put it on the three way. Yeah. Hi there. Hello. Alright, here, hold that. Hold that. Kind of sort of works. Um, hi there. I don't think. Are you a sister? Are you a no. sister? I'm a lying sister. Yeah, no, she was. Do you mind being on, on with us? I'm on. Yeah, I guess. Yes. Um, Elaine's sister. You're the one that lives right next door. Mm -hmm. We met. Yeah, I seen you yesterday morning when oh. y'all come. Okay. Um, so we didn't find her in the pond. So uh, you guys have kind of been uh, following this story as you know, as we're in town. Mm -hmm. We met up with with uh, Elaine yesterday. Let her know what we were doing, the areas that we were searching, and we did a live last night. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I watched the live. You guys watched the live. Mm -hmm. I think that we spooked a few people, whoever is responsible for mm -hmm. this, because, so because the report can confirm this with us. Uh, Elaine said one is it's been positively identified that this is Nic uh, Nicole's car, with, um, as well as she is inside, and that the car was not there this morning. Is that all correct? Uh, I don't, I don't know. They just told us they found her. Okay. They didn't tell us no details. Okay, that's the details that um, Elaine ended up telling us. So um, I know it's really tough on her. I know she lost another son. Four, he, was, he was um, hit and run. He was 14. Mm -hmm. And this is, our, this is the only other child she had. So she now lost both children. Yeah. Yep. So. Heartbreaking. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of this, I mean, it's not the answers that we wanted. No, no. But today, she's been found and she's coming home. Yeah. So, yeah. Right? Thank you. You're Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. If you need anything, let us know we're right here, okay? All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, let me answer some... Uh, Um, so let me uh, let me go through a few more uh, 
I have to take a deep breath at this point. Um, let me just kind of start over for anybody that's currently joining us. We now have over 7,000 people uh, online watching live right now. It's Sam, Sam the Adventure Man, myself, Dan, Dan the Cameraman. He's uh, right here with us as well. We're on a 2020 road trip across the U.S. to help as many families as we can find their lost loved ones. So far on this trip, we haven't won them all. We did find Nicholas in North Carolina a couple days ago. We're now in Corinth. Was the name? We're actually at Rooster Roosterville by Ephesus. Is where we're at. We've been here for two days. We have mom is over in the car. We met with her yesterday, and we have her daughter Natalie Jones, 27 years old, went missing July 4th of this year. She was last seen across the, the border over in Alabama at Jackson's Gap is where she was at, at a party. She left roughly at 10.30 in the evening, 10.30 uh, p.m. to go home. She was talking to somebody as she crossed the border, so we do know that she crossed over from Alabama into Georgia. And then there was also a cell phone text that took place um, when she supposedly got home. However, mom said that she never pulled in the driveway. She never pulled out of the driveway, but the cell phone pinged at a tower near the house. Um, wait, hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah, yes, uh, Esteban. Yes, 100%, that is our plan for sure. Um, so if you're watching, get a hold of Esteban. If you can get a hold of Jacob, and Jacob will get you Sam's number, get a hold of Sam, please. Um, all right, so I had to take care of that question. So with, um, where was I at in my conversation here, Dan? My mind is so frazzled right now. I was telling the story, oh, the the, uh, the timeline of what we have going on yeah. with Natalie, and then I'll tell you the timeline of us being in town. So we have Natalie whose cell phone pinged uh, near the house, and then near, so there was a te the text near Corinth, 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 Corinth. You just need to stay next to me so you can tell me so I can, all the proper so I can pronunciations. pronounce all the biblical words? Yes. And then, because she never did actually arrive home in the driveway, she did not make it into the house. Around between 2 o'clock in the morning and 5.30 a.m., her cell phone kept pinging around Ephesus. Ephesus, Georgia, is within like an 8-mile radius, kept hitting off of like a Franklin Tower, Ephesus Towers, in that area for two and a half hours. And then her phone, the last cell phone ping was not a, hey, the phone has died, hey, the phone is underwater. It was a intentional, from what I'm told, this is all hearsay and theory at this point, is that her phone was intentionally turned off at 5.30 in the morning. A lot of rumors had been going around that uh, it could have been a suicide. There was some uh, rumors going around that it could have been a overdose and that other people were trying to, an accidental overdose, and that people were trying to rid her or, or to help dispose of her. And the story and the theory on that one is, is that it could have been a part of a, you know, a drug ring to where if she went, it would have really opened up a can of worms for those that were involved. So we have that um, story and the theory. We also have, once, so once we started on that, where Sam and I come into this, is we met up with uh, Mom yesterday. We had a lot of confidential informants that had uh, told us about this story and where we should start looking. So some of our investigations started over on Makosh Mill Road, which is west of Ephesus. Ephesus. I don't know why I can't say that word, so Ephesus. So our, our investigation started over there. We located a couple places, and let me, I guess, let me back up. There's a story of a freezer that was involved, and the reason why there's a theory of a freezer that um, Nicole may have been separated from her hot pink car and placed in a freezer is because a witness, Bro, going on? a witness came forward and said, hey, right. this guy that I was with had a freezer in the back of his pickup truck, and that freezer stunk so bad that I was told meaning that the, the female witness told that there was 35 dead catfish in there. And so for that reason, don't look in there, it stinks. That's how this rumor began as to Nicole being in a freezer. So we started following up on those on those leads. 
somebody says move the antenna. Um, we're off of the RV, so if I need to go back up, if, if we're if we have any lag, let me know and I'll go back up on top of the uh, on top. Refresh the video, Nicole. I think uh, let's pull the uh, booster down. Let's pull the booster back down here. Let me see if that's gonna work for you guys. I'm sorry. Bear with me. All right. See if that helps us at all. Um, all right, let me know if that's better or not. We're gonna just try to keep a, a good service for you guys here. Is the tow truck here yet? No. Okay. Um, so that's that's how we ended up with that. So we searched that location. We searched another location within confidential informant where a truck could have pulled up to a bridge, dumped a freezer over. We didn't find anything there. We also, what was the third location? Oh, the third location is I didn't feel right about when we went right down Makosh Mill road there was a road state line road that went off to the left about five miles down to an old abandoned boat ramp and so with that old abandoned boat route ramp it would have been like a perfect spot late at night or during the day that would have been a perfect place to um to uh, drop somebody in especially in a freezer cooler or a car on that one what, what's going on we have one going in okay So um, from there, Sam, we ended up checking out the uh, other boat ramp. We didn't find anything at that boat ramp either. We ended up then going live last night. And with the live that we ended up doing last night, um, I, uh, somebody just asked if the tile can be changed. The tile cannot be changed while I'm uh, actually on the stream right now, okay? So I cannot change the uh, title right now. I'll change the title a little bit later. You should ask mom uh, into the RV for her privacy. Mom's uh, being comforted by family right now, so mom is uh, here for sure, um, and she's being comforted with family. So yes, I, I will let her know that she can go into the RV if she needs to. Sam, will you make sure that she knows that as well? Mom, will you make sure that she knows if she needs space in the RV that she's more than welcome to sit down if she needs to, if she needs any privacy at all? So then that takes us to, we ended up doing a live stream last night. With the live stream we ended up doing, we brought everybody into what we had found, the areas that we had searched, um, and some of our theories behind it. Where we planned on searching today was coming back up around Ephesus because there was the report of her cell phone pinging at you know, three or four spots throughout the area within like an eight mile radius of Ephesus. So we met up with uh, some local uh, deputies this morning, and they were very gracious to us as well as the pastor. And you know, he's like, hey, you know, my congregation has been asking, you know, hey, there's a pond here. Can you guys search the pond? Because I want answers for, you know, for our congregation. So we ended up doing the pond the first thing this morning. In addition to that, we also had some additional information from one of the officers that said, hey, here's some other locations where some cars might be possibly have the potential of being dumped. So Sam and I, and we went and checked those waterways as well. The, we didn't find anything in the, what was the, what's the river? Ch Chattanooga? Chattahoochee. Ch Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee. So the Chattahoochee. So we've been chilling, hey, way, way down south in Chattahoochee, uh, Muddy River, meant to me. So with that, what am I looking at? See if you can tell Jared without making that. Okay. I got it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be careful on that one. Um, so with uh, the search for uh, Nicole, we, I'm sorry, my mind is so shot. Nicole, I'm, Natalie. why do I keep saying that twice? Natalie. I know what I'm supposed to say is Natalie. My mind is so frazzled. Natalie Jones, Natalie Jones, Natalie Jones, okay? I don't know why I keep saying Nicole, so I apologize. So we ended up doing the, the river and then we went back over towards Ephesus because we were still focused on the cell phone pinging over there. The last cell phone ping that we have evidence of and that was given to us by a confidential informant, we weren't supposed to have the information, but you know, that's how confidential informants work. Um, so take them for what they were, what they are, is that, uh, hey, Sam, you got, you got somebody here? I have somebody here. Yep. 
Um, so with that, a cell, the last cell phone ping, we were told 4.22 miles away to the south, to the southeast. So with that, um, so with that, the 4.22 miles puts us really close to, I, I think we're like, did anybody actually do the mapping of where we're at? But uh, from Ephesus directly to here as the crow flies, what is as the crow flies from Ephesus to the corner of Welcome, uh, Welcome Road and Rooster, Roosterville Road is where we're at. But anyway, so that kept us within this area around Ephesus looking for this pink car, looking for this pink car. We get a, so 7.1 miles. So from Ephesus, from from Ephesus, Ephesus to, here. to here. So yeah, so Ephesus center to where we're at as the crow flies 7.1 miles miles and we were told that our our radius needs to be eight miles so we are within that eight mile uh, zone that we have there um, we're over scouting another pond after we spoke with some more locals um, with permission and we were getting ready we were getting ready to finish up that pond and we had another pond and another, and another uh, creek to go take a look at when we were doing so as Sam was almost done we, I get a phone call from another confidential, confidential informant that said, we just heard on the police scanner, a pink car has just been, a suspicious pink car has just been identified. Police are heading over right now to Roosterville. You need to get over to Roosterville right now. You're only a couple miles away. So that is how we now ended up over here on Roosterville. Mom has, when we first arrived, you know, we were moved back. Um, it was a little bit of a short confrontation, but not much, just with the sheriff that came up, like, hey, don't put this on social media, don't, you know, record it. But at the end of the day, you know, we are here to document, we are here to, you know, freedom of press. And with that, you know, being respectful at the same time, I mean, I would, uh, please review the footage, but I don't, I don't think we were up in his face, just, but we're just very directive. We are media, we are here to record it, but we're not here to release any is it Natalie? Is it the car? We didn't have that information at the time. And, uh, and, and we were very respectful uh, of him for that. <clears throat> and his statement pretty much was, this is an investigation. We, we want to be the ones to notify next of kin. He did not say at that moment in time who next of kin was going to be. Um, but what we then found out also shortly thereafter is in speaking with Elaine, who is Nicole's mom, and so she's over there being consoled by a family right now. And um, I'm, I'm going to read something else real quick. I <clears throat> just received a uh, information. Um, ask if somebody drove with a dash cam today within 10 miles of this area to check it out. So I'm sure somebody also drove with a dash cam. They're going to remember a pink car. A pink car is pretty hard to uh, not see. Um, so with mom, um, I spoke with mom shortly. Um, after all of this had started and this was after if you guys started the stream with us you saw a whole bunch of cop cars here and then you saw quite a few of them leave well in speaking with mom the sheriffs were actually over at her house um, with uh, to let mom know that yes 100% indeed that it is Natalie's car Natalie is with the car and the and this is where it gets really weird because before we received this word somebody came walking up the way and said i live down the road that car was not there this morning okay that's what we were told from the neighbors that car was not there this morning the police have confirmed with Nat uh, with um, natalie's mom as well that the car was not there this morning hair stands up on the back of my neck I don't know what to say it's the weirdest thing I cannot say that us being in town is what solved this but it's very coincidental Sam yeah I, I think it's super I think it's super coincidental and this is a small town, uh, news travels fast. You know, everybody knew that we were here because we stopped at a gas station and, and it was just word spread fast that we were here. So um, I'm thinking, it, my personal opinion is that us being here stirred something up. Um, that's my personal opinion, no, no way. Yeah. 
Um, here's what I need to have happen. Um, I need right now every um, somebody from Elaine's family. Where's Elaine at? Um, is, is she inside the RV or where's, where's yeah, Elena? Here's, here's what I want to have happen right now. Is we need somebody from Elaine's family jumping online right now and putting together a GoFundMe so we can help uh, her and her family. She's going to have a lot of expenses coming up right now. Um, <coughs> I'll, I, in fact, I'll talk to her sister over here. That's fine, that's fine. You do um, can, we, can you have somebody from your family work on putting together whoever's most technically smart about this put together a GoFundMe like right now and get us a link we will put the link on here and let's do what we can to start raising some funds for you know to help out uh, Elaine this is um, my and daughter and your family okay she's my intelligent one <laughs> okay so yeah please please do everything you can to get that up right now and uh, we'll get a link out to everybody as soon as we have that um, for mom for sure we got, a, um, we got a phone call saying that a car fitting Natalie's description of her car showed up. And they heard it over a piece of Did, Is there a pond on there? There's, there's no pond. There's we, no we, pond. We actually put our eyes on the car. You can, If you walk up, and you're going to get kicked off, but you can try walking up. But if you walk up and you stay out of the ditch and up high, you can actually look across and you can see the car. So I'm not giving you this information, although now everybody knows I gave you the information. But yes, and you may you may even walk up this a little bit and then kind of spot through there. But it's going to be up the road from where the cop car's at and the driveway is at. Mm -hmm. Go up about another 50 feet beyond that, and you're going to be able to see through. And I mean, they're going to have lights and everything going on up there with the tarp. So. She wants to know. Her sister's going to do it. She wants to know what do you want her to put in like the description? Just put Natalie Jones. Um, what do you want her to put in there? Pretty much. This is, this is um, Natalie's sister. That okay. Is a, okay. So um, throw a picture up for sure. Okay. And then uh, just put um, for Natalie Jones. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what. Give us some suggestions real quick. What should we put as far as the title on GoFundMe for the family so we can uh, get this going on GoFundMe for them? Uh, come over here closer. We have a Wi Fi booster that might, might help a little bit here. Wow. Yep. Yeah, so we'll see if that helps a little bit. See if you get any cell service. Uh, anyway, uh, Natalie Jones Memorial Fund is what they suggest. So I think that's a, a good one there. Let me see. Say what? Oh, I don't have a Wi-Fi here. No, I'm sorry. Yo, you don't have a Wi-Fi on your or internet on your phone? I do, but I don't have service out here. Okay. It's in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Do you have a phone with service by chance? She can do it off on me. I don't want to put you on the spot, but okay. Okay. Thanks for that, Ryan. Okay. All right, I'm going to start answering some uh, questions here. Uh, I'm going to just come back through here and uh, start answering any questions that you guys uh, may have. So, uh, the suggestions for the memorial fund, yeah, Natalie Jones, uh, Natalie Jones Family Fundraiser, Natalie Jones Family, Natalie Jones Memorial Fund. I think Memorial Fund sounds the best. Uh, Mary Smith, yes, been watching for an hour now. Please help raise funds for the funeral. A brief description of her story. Tell them to send me the link on Sam's phone. Yeah, when we get it, uh, Jacob will uh, get the link for sure. So we're we're uh, rushing to do what we can to get a uh, GoFundMe set up for sure. Um, I wonder how much uh, tree dirt is on the car. None, I don't think, because um, the reason for that is because the car was just dumped this morning. So here we are. How many, 93 days, did you say 93 days later? How, 92 days. So the car has not been exposed for 92 days and suddenly today the car shows up after Sam all by himself 
with nobody else in town. So if anybody's looking for revenge, it's what'd Sam. You, what'd you say? That you're the one that ruffled feathers. I'm the one that's ruffling feathers? Yes. Um, so there was, there's no tree dirt on it. Um, help Natalie Jones funeral expenses. Um, money for the children, funeral costs. Help Natalie, help Natalie, that's perfect. Um, put Natalie went missing and the circumstances and a little bit about the family and how any funds will. Oh, so the, um, they said that within your description, they're giving us suggestions to help you write this. So just keep this in the back of your mind. Um, so Natalie Jones Memorial Fund for the title. Mm -hmm. And then for a description, Na you know, put that Natalie went missing, um, you know, and some of the circumstances around it and a little bit about the family and how the funds will uh, help uh, with the expenses. Okay. Uh, oh, um, rumor has it from a uh, CI. CI stands for Confidential Informant. Um, they're waiting on the FBI right now. FBI? FBI is on their way. So, so I'm getting a lot of lot of messages saying that he should probably dip after overdone. Oh yeah, out of this county. Yeah, we're yeah, we're yeah, gone. Yeah, we're, so, so this might be the last live stream. Might be nice uh, dust settle. Especially if they're snipers. Either way, whatever. Yeah. How's it going, brother? Good, how about you? Good, how about you? Good. Okay. So, uh, uh, let's see what else have I got on here. I'm trying to get service, y'all. Yep, no worries. Just keep it short until you, you can add. They said, uh, j for now, they said just keep it short with about that much information until you have more details that you can get in. But the main thing right now is to get us a link so we can get it up for everybody, okay? Yep, yep. Uh, I feel like someone don't want you in the waters around there, for sure. Um, that black truck is giving me the hibby jibbies. Been sharing. Uh, yeah, so I'm getting a lot this. of messages, you know, saying you know, watch out for this black truck. Black truck keeps on yes. going back and forth. A lot of watch out for the red truck. Red truck keeps going back and forth. They say that you know if some you know a lot of times you know uh, if the murderer or if people involved will be lurking, lurking the scene. So. Yeah, it, 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 with all the love and respect, you know, we gotta keep our, our eyes open. Just kind of stay close. Yeah. Um, here we go. It is two people who put the car there. So, um, I have to agree with you, Mary Smith. Uh, I mean, if the car was not there this morning, the car is there now. Uh, Mary Smith is saying that two people put the car there. Uh, I'm going through the comments right now, so I'm trying to get caught up. So I apologize if uh, I don't answer your question. Jared, be careful. Two trucks. Um, film everyone there. The killer normally would be there watching for sure. Mom, how you doing? Do you, do you, you want to say a word? To, people would love to s say hi to you and give you their love. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. So we have uh, Natalie's mom here right now. Do we have? Can we get a little more light on this? So um, Natalie's mom. We met with you yesterday. We kind of surprised you and just knocked on your door. And we yes, said, we guess what? We're in town. Here's who we are. Here's what we're going to be doing. And 36 hours later, Nicole's coming home. It's not the best news. Natalie. Natalie. I don't know why. I, I'm so terrible with words and names. I'm so sorry. His brain's gone. It is Natalie Jones, okay? Yes. And she's coming home. Um, I just received word. And... We have so many confidential informants that keep hitting us up with, with information. This, I'm not confirming nor denying this. I don't have the exact information, but I received word that the FBI is also on their way. Good. That's what they should have called in first. So, so if they don't show up, I, I'm sorry. I'm only passing along. I'm only the messenger in this. So. Okay. But I have been told that the FBI is on their way. Um, is there anything you would like to share with everybody that's you know been watching and supporting? Uh, we're, I, we have a GoFundMe that's being set up right now, um, yeah. back there. As soon as the GoFundMe is set up, we're gonna get the GoFundMe link out to everybody. We're gonna raise money to help you guys. There's no financial burden on you guys. Okay? Yeah, because I don't have children. Yeah. I would just like to thank everybody that has been praying for my daughter. This is so unreal to me. This is the second one I've been had to lay the rest. And I appreciate all the prayers. She was a beautiful girl. 
she had a smile that would light up the room no matter what. Even if, a, if, even if she was sad, she would still be smiling. Just God, please, please, please just get the people so they can serve their justice. My baby can't walk on this earth again. I appreciate it if they couldn't walk on it again either. I love y'all and thank y'all and please continue praying for me because this has really hit me hard. Okay, thank you. Maybe you so if you're not close. If you need to uh, go in the RV for any reason, you're welcome to sit down, lay down. If you need anything, water, toilet, anything you need, okay? So, Food. yep, we have chairs also. Do you want a chair for out here, or what? What can we do for you? I don't know. Okay. Well, let us know. You got it. You got a lot of support here, okay? Like you're gonna fall down. Do you need? Come here. here. Yeah, yeah. Grab, grab a recliner chair if she wants one of those. Okay. Say again. Okay. Oh, there's a chair right there. Okay. Here, if you need a back support, we've got a back support chair here for you too. Okay. All right. Uh, back to some of the questions. Uh, let me just go through some of these. I'm going to scroll back up a little bit and try to answer some questions for you. Uh, black truck, black truck. Uh, somebody says a black truck. Uh, the black, black truck, get the license plates on it. Let me scroll up a little bit here. Um, so what's with the black truck? Lots of people are talking about it. I don't know which black truck you guys are talking about, but there's lots of video around here. so. We have a lot more people showing up here tonight as well. They're kind of all, it's almost like it's become a parade here. Um, hey, Dan. Uh, you're almost there. There you go. There you go. It's completely set up there. Um, with the, we now have the uh, ambulances here. So the ambulance just showed up. If um, you go around through here and just go stage up where it's dark, you want to go do that with the long lens yeah. and stuff. People are bringing us food. Don't eat it. Yeah. Don't eat the food. I mean, we love you guys, but yeah, please don't bring us any food don't tonight. Bring us any food right tonight. now, we can't trust anybody. So it, yeah, we appreciate you guys' love and support, but um, we're not eating it. Yes. Not good. It's no, just, no, we just we don't. No. We can't we trust know. it we right now. Definitely ruffled some feathers. Our presence made something happen. Yeah. Uh, we, we really don't know what to think. Yeah. You want to hang on with him? Yeah. Dan, eat anything though. All right, uh, I'm going to uh, read some more comments here. So we do have the ambulances now here. I wonder if I can sneak into the woods with them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go sneak into the woods. Well, I don't have, I don't know if I'm going to lose service over there or not. All right, well, let me read a few more comments first. You're, um, no, you're not recording. There you go. No, you're, you're recording. There you go. All right, reading some more comments. Lagging. Okay, let me move closer to the uh, Wi-Fi because I appear to be lagging. Oh, uh, Nicole, I'm sorry, Natalie, why can I get that? Sorry, um, Natalie Jones. Memorial Fund. Oh, I did that. This is the description. Oh, this is the description. Um, just, uh, say what this, say, uh, what's going on? What's going on? She's trying to, she's, she's trying to get up there. Okay. No, I understand. Um, just, uh, Natalie has been found and is no longer with us. Raising funds for Memorial Fund, more information to come soon. And put a picture of her, that's all that has to go up right now. I just need the link.
Hey, Dan. Is that Dan going up there? Yeah. Yeah. So Dan's heading up there. He's going to go get some coverage up there. He's going to see if he can get some more, uh, it's some other shots for you guys. I'm going to try going up there. If I start lagging, guys, please let me know. I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get closer to this scene. We're already where our booster's at, so we'll just stay over here, okay? All right, see if that's better again. See if we're back online now. Yes. Okay. Um, how am I get? Oh, uh, send it to. So, K, uh, Jacob, you're still in here, right? As well as Tara. So put the link. So go on the live stream. Okay, Sam's over there. We're gonna get you guys the link in just a minute for a uh, Natalie Jones and Memorial Fund. Okay. Um, so go, yeah, so go into the feed. And what is your username? Well, you're going to see it. So, okay. Okay, Jacob, so um, we're going to post the link right here. And when the link comes in, make sure that you grab it, and then you can uh, repost it in the... Okay. Yep, tap to join, and then paste the link right there. Okay. Okay. okay, so the link is coming through right now for... It says, it says remove any web pages and try again. YouTube pasted from Safari. See if that goes through. Uh, oops, removed any web addresses. Okay. Um, Jacob, text me your phone number. I, I'll get a text that will come through on my phone. Text me your number on my phone so I can at least see what your number is, and then I'll have uh, I'll have this texted over to you, and then you can put it in. Okay, Jacob. All right. So he'll text me in just a minute. He'll hear it, and then we'll get you. Uh, we'll get you that. No. I have 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 Jacob te text me. What's Jacob's number? Here, give me his number. Uh, I don't have a hotspot. We've burned up all of our data. I have a Wi-Fi boot, a cell booster right here. So as long as you stay close right here, yeah, you might be able to get better uh, cell service. But I don't have a hotspot. I'm sorry. Jacob, what's your number? It's oh, wait, 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 wait. I have everybody here. Okay, I'm going to give you to uh, her. So not everybody has your phone number. Okay, so we're getting over in just a moment. Let's uh, do what we can to help the family out and start this memorial fund and get it going. And then uh, I would love to go up closer for uh, everybody, but uh, the moment we get away from the uh, Wi-Fi booster, we're uh, losing service. So appreciate everybody being here tonight. Say again. Nope, you just have to be near it. And am, it'll I, just, am I near it? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're sitting, yep, you're sitting, yep. yep. And it just helps Thank boost the signal that you would normally have with your carrier. So. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so everybody uh, start looking for that link to come through. Uh, Chaos Divers, thank you very much. He's on here. He's going to start posting that link for everybody. So there it is right now, the GoFundMe for uh, Natalie Jones. That is uh, to help the family out, the family really needs your help and your donations uh, this evening and um and and i and i see that uh 800 in donations has come through directly to us tonight as well so anything that comes through here we're donating directly to the family tonight as well so you'll see me uh, make a a uh, donation on all of you guys' behalf tonight that was actually here to help us uh we're going to turn that right over to the family and help them so uh do what you can though use the gofundme link because they're not going to take any fees out or, you have the option to choose 0% or if you want to give to GoFundMe 10 or 15%, you can. But uh, know that over here on over here on YouTube, YouTube does take some money out. And so do not do not donate any more money here on YouTube tonight to us to help us out. That money that you've already donated this evening, we're going to take that and donate directly to Elaine and her family for Nellie Jones. So please help me out that link is uh, chaos divers is posting the link to the GoFundMe right now so please help the family out uh, everything you can do to help them out 
All right, thank you for uh, posting. Uh, I keep cutting out, I apologize I'm cutting out. There's not a whole lot that I can do on that. I can go back up on the RV in a few minutes, uh, but I'm trying to stay down here, you know, kind of where the action is at. Uh, you might want to talk to that person over there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take this, they do not want to be on camera. Who am I talking to? I'll point once you hand me this. This is serious? Yeah, that's serious. Am I going to jail? You are not going to jail. Oh, that's good news. That is good news. Yeah. I'll take this and you can go talk to that person. They definitely do not want to be on camera. I like when I don't go to jail. Yeah, go, not going to jail. That's good. Yep. That's the one. Thank you guys for all your support. Greatly appreciate it. Yep, Sam has the camera right now. We're just uh, dealing with some stuff over here. Um, Jared will be back in just a moment to update you and keep you guys posted. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Um, just, a, just a very surreal moment to be here, to be involved in this, to see this. Um, so not that I talk a lot to begin with, but I'm very much at a loss for words. The mother's being consoled. As you can imagine, she's devastated. This is the news that no parent wants to get. I guess up until this point, there was a little bit of hope that maybe she was, maybe the outcome would be different, but that's not the case. I'm gonna go check on Jared real quick. Yep, Jared's still good. Jared will, be, Jared will be right back. Wow. Yep, she's lost. Uh, she's lost two kids. Just unbearable pain. And thank you guys for all of you guys who have donated to us. And check out the GoFundMe link. Uh, donate to her as she lays her daughter to rest. It's a terrible thing to go through this and then the financial burden that does come with laying a loved one to rest. Um, your guys' donations on the GoFundMe is greatly appreciated. Jacob, uh, please, please, if you can, go ahead and drop the link. I'm sure you already have. Yep, two kids. I'm not, I, I think she said what happened to the other child, but I, I don't remember. It's just been a it's been a wild, wild evening. So if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I just my brain's just drawing a blank on everything. And again, Jared will be be here momentarily. Yeah, recap. The recap is we were came here looking for Natalie Jones. We are a water specialty team. In the process of searching a pond, we got a call saying that they heard on a police scanner that a vehicle, pink vehicle, similar to Natalie's vehicle's description was found um, while we were here in town. So that very well may be a coincidence, or it might be that us being here stirred some, something up in somebody that they decided to, to dump the vehicle. Um, either way, we did not find the vehicle. We just happened to be here at the right time doing the, working on the case when the vehicle came up. It has been confirmed by the mother that she is still in the vehicle or she is in the vehicle now. I don't know if that's still in the vehicle or if she's in the vehicle now. I, I, I don't know. This is just one of those wild things 
Right now I can see, it looks like a police vehicle is starting to back out of the driveway. It looks like we have some more news. What's up guys, you got that news look. Yeah, WRVL. All right, all right, well, come on in. Oh no 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 the, the, yeah we're on a live yeah just this is a live you just go ahead and walk wherever we're just asked that you give you know the mother some space the mother's mother's right there so if you guys can just give her some, what uh, what news crew are you what news station WRBL News D Three News Three in uh, Atlanta or Georgia Columbus Georgia Columbus Georgia mm -hmm. I'm lost I'm not from around here so I don't know where I'm at <laughs> yeah well, yeah we'll, we'll welcome yeah absolutely. Yeah, so we got a lot of different news stations represented a lot of different Can you newspapers. Restate that for the camera. What? Me? Yes. Oh, 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 oh we, we got it on here. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, we're good here. Dan was doing separate. Oh, okay, no problem. So there's Jared. That's a wild and crazy story. Yeah, that was that was a wild one, right? Yeah, definitely uh, noteworthy. That they had you go check on. Yeah, I think there's one thing that we need to watch out for. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, there is something we need to watch out for. Okay. So. Okay. Setting up, they're setting up their news camera now. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Actually, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm back. So the... She definitely has a big family support. Expecting tow truck around 11 o'clock is uh, the update. I don't know who our... Um, uh, where our confidential informant gets all this information, but you know what? You are amazing with everything that we have coming on. So we have uh, reports of the FBI, tow truck coming up uh, around 11. We're gonna keep updating the family on anything that we know on this one. So really, uh, really appreciate that. Um, let me set this down for a minute. Over here. Um, here you go. I'll give you that. Uh, I'll just let you know when to record. If we need to record something. Mm -hmm. So, I can see like a tow truck or something coming up. We'll uh, record that. So things are really starting to brighten up over here. We can't see anything right now. Don't make the police angry. What's going on over here? Everything all right? She's trying to go again. Oh. All right, I'm gonna read uh, some more comments here. So, um, hey, I appreciate you guys doing uh, donations over here on YouTube, but please don't do any more donations on YouTube. YouTube takes a, uh, a cut from this one. Anything that's already been donated on YouTube here tonight is going to be donated directly to Elaine and her family. Uh, for the benefit of Natalie and uh, uh, her family for the memorial and anything else they need. We have a link taking place that uh, Chaos Divers is posting in the in the feed right here. He's going to keep posting it throughout the evening, but pl please use the GoFundMe link to for any donations uh, because the family will get more of the money uh, than, uh, than any other way. So please, please, please use the link in the description for the GoFundMe, okay? Um, Chaos Divers check as there seems to be two GoFundMe accounts. Make sure you are only using Natalie's, the one that Chaos Divers is posting. If anybody else is posting a link that's not that one, it is not the appropriate one. So, so far, 1360 has already been raised for the family over there on GoFundMe. We have another $900 uh, that was donated to us this evening on this live stream. We're donating to the family as well. So, we're up over $2,500 if I can do my, or $2,200. So please, please, please uh, use the link down below. Uh, I'm gonna read a, um, some of the comments here and uh, see if I can answer any questions for you. Um, 
some people are just now coming on and they want to know what happened. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you in just a minute, the police need to stop the traffic. I agree with you 100%, they should uh, shut the road down completely. I mean, there's a detour road there and a road over there, so they can shut down this entire road right here, they should. Anything that goes over state lines is FBI territory, as well as most small towns don't have the ability to investigate. Okay, that makes a, a lot of sense, Amy, as to why the FBI would be coming in, because it did start in one state and it ended up in the other. <coughs> so I can go with that, for sure. Up the fundraiser Fox remote. Say again? I think Fox 5 is here. Fox 5 is here? Welcome, yeah. welcome Fox, how are you? Hey yeah. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I one of your other guys. No worries. Um, Sam is incredible at speaking, or myself, so please only one of the two of us. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, we're on live, so I can just come to you, and I can bump this across to somebody else if we need to, just to hold the camera. So it won't be a problem, uh, Ryan. Oh, real quick though. They said that uh, you need to up the amount. What what amount do you have on there right now? 5,000, I don't know what to put. Okay, put uh, 20,000 on there right now. Mm -hmm. And that way it doesn't uh, hit the limit on there. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, have the everybody help out tonight. Sounds like it's already up to 2,500 or close to it. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. All right, we're updating that amount. We appreciate everybody. Yeah, uh, all memorial funds minimum should be uh, 10 is where they should be. So just for, I don't want to say future reference, but if anybody's in this position, uh, you know, for a GoFundMe, there's a lot of people out there that are willing to help, and you guys are part of that helping out tonight. So thank you a lot. Like I said, do not donate here on YouTube anymore tonight. They take a cut. Anything that has already been donated, we are going to... We are we are going to donate directly. Where's it blocked off at? Right there in front of you. Okay. So uh, anything that has been uh, donated on YouTube tonight, we are going to make sure the family receives that. But do use the link in the description. I'm sorry, in uh, that Jacob is posting under Chaos Divers. Chaos Divers is the only GoFundMe account that you should be uh, linking to. Later on this evening on replay, we will make sure that the link is also <coughs> in our description. Well, you can go up and He stopped. All right, uh, I have news here right now, so I'm going to uh, just pass this off to somebody right now to bring everybody up to, uh, up to speed as to what's going on. So let me pull this off of me and I'll, I'm gonna do some uh, interviews with the news right now. So, uh, Ryan, are you still floating around? Ryan, mom is, really wants to go kick some butt. She is really upset tonight, so we're, we're gonna give her her privacy right now. Um, Ryan, are you around still? All right, who's in the RV? Who's in our RV? Sam. Oh, that's Sam, okay. You all right? Oh yeah, I was just, I was just plugging in, checking my phone, eating something. Okay. Um, news is here. Do you want to do the news or you would you like me to yeah. do it? Yeah. Okay. Do the news. Okay. Uh, Fox, this is uh, Sam. Hey, how's it going? Oh, what's up? Yeah. So Sam's, Sam's going to do an interview. Who do you need? Yeah. Oh, you're going live. No pressure. Yeah, I've been watching you live all day. I'll be quiet then. So Sam's going live on the uh, news tonight. Are you on? Let's do yep. it. Hold this. Yeah, we're a uh, search and recovery team. Uh, we specialize in water operation. Yeah, today, and also missing persons cases. Today, we came here looking for Natalie Jones. Actually, a couple heard yesterday. We searched different bodies of water. We couldn't find anything. We picked up and searched again today. We went to four or five different bodies of water, and we were on the on the last one, we got a call saying that uh, a car meeting her description was found on this property, and they got their information from a police scanner. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of pink cars running around, so we said, wow, there's a pink car, they found a pink car. We came here, you know, we got here on the scene. Um, shared my partner from Adventures of Purpose had been in contact with the mother, and the mother confirmed that the police, and with the amount of police officers that were here on scene, we, you know, just kind of put the math together, and we kind of figured that, yeah, this, this has to be pretty serious. There's a, a 
a ridiculously good chance that he's here or that he's found the car. And since then, we have an uh, through the family, yeah, the, the family um, has confirmed that yes, that is Natalie's car, and she's actually inside the car. Um, this is a very small town. Um, we're not sure if we're, us being here is a coincidence, or the fact that we came here, people heard about us, maybe it stirred up some kind of emotion in somebody, and they just dumped it. E either way, you know, we were here during the search actively, and here she, here, here's the car, here's, here's Natalie. But how long ago was it that that was picked up on the scan? The pink car was found. Um, truthfully, I really don't know what time the time of day it was. I think it was probably around uh, say four o'clock. Four thirty. Oh, yeah, four thirty. Yeah, about four thirty. Oh yeah, we've been, we've been, yeah, we've been out here, you know, all, all day, all day today, all day yesterday. And we've been on the road. We just recently solved the or helped solve the case, you know, a few days ago. Um, we solved the missing case of uh, Nicholas Allen, a you know, young teen that went missing. You know, me and my partner Jared have been to purpose. You know, we together we travel the country. We try to you know bring as much closure to the families as we can. Again, you know, we're we're water specialty, and that's where we were today. We were we were on the water doing what we do, um, and then then this happens. Sure. So, how many more cases are you going to do, or is this your 2020? Um, no, no, but this is definitely yeah, this is definitely our 2020 trip, but we have okay. quite a few more cases and things that we're looking into. Um, but yeah, we have we have more you know more uh, places to go and hopefully be able to provide closure and some answers for more families. But this this here is totally just through a curveball. This was not in the water. This was not in the pond. This wasn't even next to the water. This was right here. Big curveball. Thank you. Absolutely. And you, sh you should. And I may. <laughs> right you now we're should. focused on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't forget <laughs> us. <laughs> don't forget um, us. But I hear you're going to be up at Lake Alatina for the end of the week. Yeah, we have a uh, semi truck up there and a couple of cars. Yeah, so yeah, semi truck. We're going to go pull a couple cars. It's a great place to hide the cars, right? Yeah. 80, 80 um, feet deep. When are you going up? We're going to be there on the eighth, ninth, and tenth. Um, okay. Right, yeah. Today's the sixth. Yeah. Okay. So two more days we'll be up there. Yeah, yeah, get right, with us. Have hey, you have my number. Let's talk. Let's, let's uh, shoot. Let's play. Okay. Yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, because yeah, because you know, the more people, you know, the more people know about what we're doing. Um, more, more leads to get more jobs come up, right? Or information comes up, right? More information. Hundred percent. Yes, I will. I will pimp him out to you. Yes. Am I allowed to say that in 2020? There's so many things we're not supposed to say these days. What'd you say? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, hold that a moment. Thank you. All right, zoom a little bit. This is really cool. Huh? Thank you. So Sam just got done with uh, Fox uh, News Station. The uh, next uh, news story that he's going to be doing is with uh, which station are you with? WRBL. WRBL. So watch WRBL or what is theirs? I know it's the competition, but you don't mind. We're in two different markets, so they're Channel 5, I'm Channel 18 in Columbus. Okay, so, so Channel 18 in Columbus, and then they're Channel 5 in which town? Atlanta. Atlanta. So check out both same stations so you're not competition okay okay perfect so check out that tonight on the news everybody go check out those two news stations it's going to be uh on they're doing a uh, quite a story yeah. so people people are stopping by to help out with uh, food, places to stay. So we appreciate everybody's uh, support uh, here this evening. Um, the Sam is going to be uh, them. Uh, go, um, Channel Five, um, ma'am. It was Denise, right? Um, we also have a GoFundMe that's now been set up. So if you guys are able to share that. Thank you, brother. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so it'll be on here. It's going in the feed. you. Um, let me find where she's at. Um, she went that way. She went that way with mom Tabitha, and everybody. No, no, Tabitha went that way. Yes. So we're looking for Tabitha has the link. Who does somebody else here have the Tabitha? Okay, that's who you want to talk to. Thanks. Yep. 
Uh, also, if we can get this real quick for you guys as well, the link for the GoFundMe for Natalie Jones has now been set up as well. So Tabitha has it right here. Do you have the link now? The link for Natalie Jones, the link for the GoFundMe for Natalie Jones. Yes. Has been yes. That look on your Looks really good on camera tonight. Sam, thank you for stepping up and doing that. Yep. Your speech is uh, impeccable. So we have uh, two thousand dollars has uh, been raised so far, plus oh, the uh, nine hundred that was donated appreciate earlier to, to the feed here. That's great, thank you guys. So really your help. almost three thousand dollars tonight has been raised so far for the family. Thank you everybody for those donations to help out Natalie Jones and her family, and Elaine and her family. Uh, they definitely need need the funds. Uh, they're very appreciative of it. All right, and then you start by saying your first and your last name. Would you spell it for me? Yeah, my first name is Samuel. S A M U E L. My last name is Gin. G I N N. And if you can just give me your title or your organization. Adventures with Purpose. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you could just tell us a little bit about what you guys found today. I know you just did the same spiel. But if you could just tell us a little bit about your day and how everything has unfolded. Yeah, so Adventures with Purpose, my friend Jared and I, we specialize in water recovery. Um, we recognize. Right now we are on a trip touring the country trying to find as many missing people as we can and searching as many ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, waterways, creeks to try to do exactly that. Um, we were brought here uh, on the, hold on, my words are coming on our face. Let me, let me try again. Oops, started. Yeah. Alright, so if you could just bring us up to speed with why you guys are here. I know we Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we're on, actually today we were working the Natalie Jones case. Uh, she went missing, she had a pink car, and we spent our day searching and sonaring different ponds and bodies of water. We were actually doing a sonar on a pond when we got a call saying that someone had heard on the police scanner that a car fitting Natalie's dis car's description, the pink in color, all of a sudden just showed up right here. And when you guys got here, were you able to, to locate that car? No, no, so, so by the time we got here, the police had already um, Put up their yellow tape they did not allow us to get close uh, my partner jared was in touch with the mother shortly thereafter and the mother at that time had confirmed had come to visit and had left so you know with the fact that the car is pink there's not a whole lot of pink cars running around the, you know the crime tape the fact that the mother um, just had a visit with the police officers just kind of putting that math together um we were pretty confident that yeah this is the car that we were looking for possibly natalie might be in or close by it and tell me just tell me a little bit about how often do you do this i know that you said that you go full are you within those projects um realistically i'd say we're we're successful probably about 20 percent of the time um most of the things that we do focus on are water related you know we'll go off pings from cell phones so we'll have a good idea of the area and where they are and that's what we were doing today we were going off pings off of cell phones and just searching the local bodies of water in that area and during this is a small town a lot of people knew that we were here it definitely caused some attention and some uproar the fact that we were here so part of me thinks that maybe we ruffled some feathers we stirred up some emotions um, maybe they dumped the car because of that or perhaps it shed light on the case where people looked into it and they were actually looking for a pink car now and they either drive that oh there's a pink car either way i'm not sure but it's just kind of wild we're out on the pond and looking for her and then all of a sudden she's the car and her show up so that might be a coincidence it might not and is there anything else that you would like to add that you didn't put in here yes yes i'd like to i'd also like to add that a gofundme page is now set up for natalie jones to help her family with the financial relief in this hard time so Go fund me, check out Natalie Jones, and please donate to the family. All right, thank you for your time. Yeah. I mean, I didn't like you. I'm, I was gonna run off with it. <laughs> you don't want it, trust All right. me. All right, thank you. No problem, thank you. You guys be safe. Right. Thank you. Appreciate you coming over. No problem. Um, so we do have questions uh, for news that is on location. Um, just our viewers would like to know, are you guys looking to interview the family and just some questions are coming in? That's for Fox or for you? They're, they're busy at the moment, so we'll see if we can get those, those answers.
I don't have those answers for anybody yet, so that's uh, what's going on. So uh, if you heard uh, Sam, so that's what's going on with Sam. Just did the uh, interview with both of the uh, news. So we got Fox out of Atlanta, and then we have, it was 12, 12 out of Columbus. 18, 18 out of Columbus, no worries. All right, I'll uh, answer some more questions uh, here this evening. Um, where is Dan, guys? Dan is uh, being really sneakity sneaker, and he's trying to get you guys some uh, better shots for the upcoming uh, video and edit that we'll end up having on this one. So right now we've not heard any gunshots, so I'm pretty sure that Dan is safe. We hope so for the most part, unless he got eaten and bitten by a snake. But I appreciate your concern for Dan, but he is on a mission, and hopefully he is uh, safe and everything is okay there. Hope so, right Dan? All right, you can pause that one. Yeah, I don't know how. All right, let me go here. All right, we'll go there for a minute. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and then if somebody can help me with this again real quick. How do you switch? Right? Can you like, rebuckle that on me? Thank you. All right, in just a moment, I'm going to get back to uh, questions and bring everybody. Uh, Dan is going to jail. I hope not. No, I hope that Dan is not going to jail. He shouldn't be going to jail. Um, yeah, everybody hit the like button, you know, that's the, you, is because of you, the viewers that are here tonight, that has really put us in this, uh, you know, position and location to be out here this evening to bring you this, uh, the, uh, information video. We do have two different episodes that are going to be coming out on this one. Uh, so we do have the, the live that happened yesterday, and then we have the actual two edits of our day's search, the people we ran across, our interviews with mom, our interviews with, uh, local sheriffs, um, you know, and just different tips and tricks and the locations that we ended up uh, along the way so uh, please know that we do have some actual edited as long as we don't lose Dan that will be done if your crews get turned into a reality show please keep your integrity put your foot down if you think the producers are steering you away from uh, from what's important you have that power yes thank you Evershade for sure I've actually had a couple of discussions with some uh, production companies and there was something that was going shady with one. I did put my foot down on that one. I said, absolutely not. This is who we are. This is what we do. We are not here to make fake reality. This is, this is real reality, re, real reality happening before you tonight. And it's happening because you guys are all here helping to support us. So thank you very much. And speaking of supporting us, do not donate anymore here on YouTube tonight. Uh, anything that has been donated to us directly here on YouTube is going directly to the family. So that you'll see, uh, me making a donation over there and go fund me directly uh, on your behalf of everybody that has donated um jacob with chaos divers he's in here moderating tonight he has a direct link to go fund me once this feed is done and we have access to a little bit of wi-fi i will drop the actual go fund me link in the description down below as well so do help the family out there's a memorial fund that has been set up for them um so please help them out any way that you can. Uh, Dan's going to jail, hope not. Guys, be nice. Jared, the link came through. I don't know which link you're talking about. Uh, GoFundMe link, I, I think you're talking about. Chaos Divers has it right there. Um, is if up there, let me scan up there to mom. So mom is up there. They have allowed her to go up there a little bit closer. Right now we're still hanging back and partly is because uh, we've been kicked out a couple of times now. I don't want to push the limits with the uh, local PD. They've been uh, very graciously sternful with us as to where we can and can't be. Looks like they might be being kicked out right now as well. So it looks like they might be coming back this direction. I'm not quite sure what's going on yet. But we are also uh, over here by the Wi-Fi booster that we have trying to keep a good feed on this for you guys tonight so i'm plugged into a, a battery pack this evening so hopefully i'm not going to lose battery service and we'll be able to keep things going for you until this is over this evening right now we've been told that the uh, fbi is coming in we've also been told that a, a tow truck should be coming in around 11 o'clock this evening as well any sign of the strange guy who said um he was a storm chaser um yeah he's over there yeah, if you're looking for a storm chaser, he's across the way there. Uh, love you guys. Safe, thank you. Can't believe so many cars uh, drove in true crime scenes. No cast. 
Mom, she, mom's got incredible family support here tonight. She's been, been incredible. Um, what Tabitha? What's the update right now? Um, they're just starting to let people go through traffic. They told us we had to leave, or I mean, we had to come back over here. Okay. But Elaine wants to go back to the sheriff's office, so okay. I'm going to be the one to take her. Okay. Thank you for your help tonight. Thank you so for here, everything. let me turn this back around so that way they can see you. So. Um, that's okay. Thank you for setting up the uh, GoFundMe. So Tabitha goes by here. And what is, I'm sorry again. What is your relation? With my sister. Okay. So yeah, Natalie, Natalie, Natalie's, Natalie's your sister. sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have. Uh, it sounds like we've already got over two thousand dollars raised. We also had another uh, almost a thousand that was raised there. So we're up over three thousand already. I understand that. Thank you all so much. She really needs this. And no, we're no, here and, uh, Thank you all for everything. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Take, take care of your mom. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they're they're over there doing a news interview with her right now. So let's jump over there real quick. Okay. And uh, yeah, take care of mom. Don't lag on you guys. I've just been told ever since I, I lost the son when he's 14 years old. So this is my one and only that I had left. And she was a bright, charming, Miss Personality, great smile. You never know when nothing was wrong with her because she covered it up with that beautiful smile. And she did not deserve this because she was a good girl. And she's got two boys that got to tell. Well, the daddy's going to tell them. But still, you know, I took the oldest boy skating yesterday. And when we got through, he said, my mom had a good time. But I had bad memories and good memories. And I know the bad memories of mama not staying with me. This is just the first step in long stuff for you. Soon you're going to find out what really happened. I pray to God I do. And everybody that's in it is going down. Everybody. So I have no mercy or no sympathy for none of them. I mean, this is my baby. So they've asked you to go to the police department now? Yes. Did they tell you anything just recently? No. They haven't spoke to me, none. Only the, um, the ones that came to my house today. It's, um, I was sleeping and the ones that came to my house today, they're the ones that they told me that they found my daughter and I said, is she alive? And they said, no ma'am, I'm sorry. I got a long road ahead of So very strong, you brave to be out here right now. You yep. okay. I will. Thank you. God bless. Um, so that's the uh, um, latest uh, update from the news. So just got done doing an interview with uh, mom. Um, how, how long are you doing the live till, till the thing comes out? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, how long do you guys want me on the live tonight? You guys want to start winding this down? Um, I mean, until a tow truck comes. I, th I think we we're getting really hungry as well. I think. Yeah, that, we, we, need, we need to take care. We love you guys, but we really, we really need to take care of ourselves. Yeah. I mean, you guys see what's going on here. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot on the news, you know. So the news is making their way up more. So definitely check out uh, Fox out of Atlanta. Check out 18 out of out of um, Columbus, and uh, that's going to wrap it up for uh, tonight for us. So, guys, hey, we really appreciate you guys being here uh, this evening. Sam, thank you for being on this uh, journey yep. with me. Absolutely. Dan, Dan, the cameraman this evening, as well as you know Ryan, and where Sherry at, and all the supporters that we had. Well, you come out here. And thank, and thank you guys. And thank you guys for your support and your donation. What's up, brother? And I see you crying about my sister, man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's all. Thank you, man. Yeah. Um, we got another uh, news story going on with mom again. You want to grab that real quick? Um, there you go. And then uh, after that, we're gonna do our uh, our final closing here. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. On that note, thank you again, everybody. Here, what's the best lighting? Of course, I don't know.
hope you guys can see us. Thank you very much. You guys mean the world to us. Thank you for uh, all your donations that came in tonight. Keep the donations going for the family. Um, I'm going to do, Jacob, send me the link and I'll get it in the description as soon as I can. Uh, that should be in the next uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. It's going to be my goal. So thank you everybody for uh, supporting us. Check out the news. The story uh, on the channel will be out in roughly, for members, in roughly a within two weeks. Uh, it does take us a little bit of time to put these together, but we're going to drop them back to back. And uh, thank you again for you guys and all your support. Good night. We'll see you later. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.